Folks! Welcome! It is another day. It is a straight up another day in Pokemon Emerald right now. We got ourselves a wonderful team. We've got ourselves uh, Ligma Jr., who is a Slugma. Um, Ligma Jr. has Sketch, which I love. Ligma Jr. has Sketch. Um, Ember and Mega Drain. So Sketch, the thing about Sketch is it permanently copies a move, and I'm excited to uh, customize this Slugma, assuming we can keep Ligma Jr. alive. What else we got? We got uh, Boombox, who has Tri-Attack, Cut, Karate Chop. You'd love to see it. Boombox is kind of our uh, safety Pokemon right now, level 22. We got COVID, oh, sorry, Corvid 21. Thanks for the hype train, by the way, folks. Um, oh, it is game time, Sadikas. Uh, Corvid 21, Gust, Super Fang, Twin Needle, Cross Chop. You do love to see it. Uh, yeah, you love to see it. Corbett has really good attack and very good speed as well, but very weak physically. 19 defense is very low. Uh, it's very low. It's not good. And so is so is 20 special defense, obviously. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Our new like kind of star though is uh, Bambusmon, uh, who has high jump kick and hyper voice, and then unfortunately supersonic, but uh, great moves. And then we got sunk cost. You know, Sunk Cost has not bad stats at all. Good defense, honestly, good attack, but the moves are just atrocious. Truly atrocious moves. Um, and we hope to change that in the future. Uh, finally, we have Sandikin, who is a Sandshrew. Uh, Sandshrew also has bad moves. It does have Poison Fang, which is kind of sick. Uh, but uh, yeah. Mon dragging the team to victory, kicking and screaming. Uh, so hopefully Sandikin will pick up a couple more uh, solid moves. Everyone ganks until we sketch Tail Glow onto Ligma Jr. Yeah, uh, Tail Glow being on Ligma Jr. might be fun. Um, we're here in Slateport. Uh, can somebody remind me what the battle tent is on the beach here? Can someone remind me like what the deal is with the battle tent here? Oh, wait. This is technically in Slateport City. So I could fish here, dude. Although I guess there's probably water in the city, right? Is there another spot I can... Huh, I guess not, because it would, it would allow you to surf out. It looks like I just found an individual. Uh... Oh, not here, okay. So I, I could fish here too. So this is not even like a little hack. It's just like, you know, all right. it's not a loophole. I thought I found a loophole. I did not find a loophole. Thought it was cool. I'm not. Uh, and then north of town is where you get soda pop. Is it like a bunch of fights in a row at the tent without healing? This is the name raider's house. All of my names are 10 out of 10. You can heal if you remember correctly. Don't hold you to it. All right. I won't. <laughs> I won't hold you to it. Uh, all right. So we want to catch another Pokemon, right? Before we commit too hard to any of these. Uh, which means we want to probably poison them. Um, although poison is a little bit of a risky one. I wish I had like a, a paralysis... Uh, Okay. Give it a whirl. All right, we're in Slateport, folks. The only Pokemon we can catch in Slate Slateport. Actually, you know what? Before I catch, I'm gonna go to the store, make sure I have enough Pokeballs. Not making a mistake like that right now. Super Fang is safe for catching. True, true. I could Super Fang instead of Poison. 18 in bag. We'll get we'll get 10 more. A couple two tree super fangs, yeah. True. Corvid Corvid could be the best starter. Calling Ghastly. 
Um, my call is going to be uh, Mistrevis, actually. It is going to be a ghost, but it's going to be Mistrevis. Is Mistrevis in this game? I think so, right? Pineco. The only Pokemon we can catch in Slateport is... Oh, I didn't hit A. Okay, yep, that's fine. It was not an encounter, otherwise that would be embarrassing. Um... The only Pokemon we can catch in Slateport is... And Agron is friggin' sick, dude! Super Fang. Oh, don't kill Corvid with like a crit Super Fang or Rock Tomb. Okay, 16, and my health is lowered. I have to switch because if he crits, it'll kill. Um, what is Rock not good against? Uh, ground. I'm only level 11 now. What's Sandikin's defense look like? 24, and Rock is not very effective against Ground, right? That's the only one that it's not very effective against, so... I think we go to Sandikin and we sand attack him a couple times. Grass to right? I don't have a grass buff. And what is grass to right? What's going on? What am I missing? Oh, my background music is still on. Background music is off, maybe. Uh... So his defense will be a little bit higher, but his HP is only... Oh, Grass 2, right. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yes, Grass 2. But unfortunately, this is not a Grass Pokemon. This is a Bug Pokemon. And uh, uh, Rock is good against Bug. Uh... I'm going to go to Boombox. Boombox will be fine. It's not super effective against Boombox. And... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so now it's just a matter of can we catch this Pokemon at half health. We could also put a potion on and, and uh, music's a little loud. Good call. How's that? A little bit better balance? How about... How about that? There we go. Uh, Pokeball. Thank you for saying music's a little loud. It was a little loud. Let's not do pitches of our own names for the Pokemon, please. Uh, wait, what are what are his moves? What what are Boombox's moves? Okay, yeah, I can't. What if the standard Pokemon games required this level of calculation? I have only just understated the name Agron. His attack rose, that's so funny. He's trying to sweep my team, dude. Very funny, Game Freak. What's up, Red? Steel resist normal, so maybe normal attack. Yeah, but I, I, Boombox has pretty high attack compared to an Agron. I know that Agron has really good defense. Is, is um, Agron Steel Rock? Ugh. All right, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Sandikin. Okay, I'm gonna go to Sandikin and I'm going to sand attack a few times. Sandikin should be able to resist some aggron attacks here, because not very effective. Yeah, three damage. Hell yeah, Sandikin. Sandikin is sick, dude. Sandikin rules. All right, sand attack. Both Metal Claw and, uh... Alright, missed one. Another Sand Attack here. Can never unlearn Sand Attack. Still missing. Three. I could do this, what, six times? Four. Four. 
<laughs> Metal sound, dude. Special defense going down is totally fine. Five. And he got one off, but it's a rock throw. Um, the Metal Claw did eight damage. So a crit won't kill Sandikin, even if it hits. So it has to hit and crit and have a really, really high roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up. We're going to use a... Do we not have any potions? We have a hyper potion. I didn't buy any potions. <sighs> do we have my berry juice? I don't even have my berry juice. All right, we're going to Orin Berry our... Uh, we have one Orin Berry. We're going to Orin Berry Corvid. Because we want a Super Fang again. And when uh, Agron's accuracy is so low, and he would need to crit, our odds are very good. Good. So we can get at least one Super Fang off. Another half gone, so at 25% health now. Miss. And now let's go to 12.5% uh, for the Super Fang. Can Super Fang ever kill? Can Super Fang kill? Because I'm afraid if it's at 1 HP. I assume it can't possibly. Super Fang cannot kill. It can kill. I think it can. All right. Let's continue. It won't do less than 1 HP. I think he has more than 1 HP, but I'm not going to take the risk. And as such, I'm going to switch back to Boombox. I'm not risking losing the Agron. I agree he probably has more than one Evan, but I can't risk it. Given who is on my team currently, I cannot risk it. Hell yeah, what's up, Liz? Okay. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries. You know, I've only used like four Pokeballs so far. This next one, it's gonna get two wiggles. This one's gonna get two wiggles here. See, so watch, two wiggles. One, two, and then it's gonna burst out. That's all right, that's all right. No worries. We are on track for success, folks. We are on track for success. This one's going to get two wiggles. Want to tweet before the catch? Mm. Nah. All right, folks. Agron has been captured. Baby, what is the nickname for the Agron? Agron is 611, dude. And you have to imagine that 611 is measured when it's on its four legs, right? 793 pounds. Its iron horns grow longer a little at a time. They are used to determine the Agron's age. The gouges in its armor are worn with pride as mementos from battles. Got a few Swagrons out the gate. Smallman, Lil John. Swagron took a strong lead in the beginning. <laughs> Walmart Rhino, unfortunately, is too long. Swagron or Smallman. Rockman, Swagron. Smallmond. All right. Seems like uh, Swagron is the winner. Although Smallmond has like a s little surge there. Nothing has really competed with Swagron. I, it would be it would be unfair to Swagron for me to say like something that got like a couple votes is gonna win. Swagron, the Agron. Transfer to someone's PC. Whose PC did it get transferred to? I need them. Let's go. Do a little bit, folks. Let's head on over there to the old PC. 
Hey, by the way, uh, Liz, congrats on partner. That's awesome. Who's going away? This is actually a tough choice. We have our first tough choice, dude. I mean, so first of all, let's just let's just make it very clear. Uh, swag on rules. Level six has 19 attack and 28 defense already. Level six, uh, and great type coverage with rock steel here. This is stuff we don't have, and it's jolly, yes. Just, just to confirm, sunk cost moveset is very bad. But we've used sunk cost so much, shouldn't we keep using it? <laughs> Little sunk cost joke. Uh, <laughs> We're not going to continue box operations, folks. Sunk cost. And now, now the, the, the thing about sunk cost here that we need to keep in mind, uh, let's switch uh, Corvid's Quick Claw for Swagron's Amulet Coin. Because we want a Quick Claw on Swagron for sure. Oh, thanks! I should consider a friggin' career in comedy. Smart! Nah, I'm not gonna continue. Uh, why not Sandikin? Uh, I think Sandslash is a better Pokemon than Ariados. Also, Ariados' moves are... Uh, upsetting. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Upsetting. They make me mad. Uh, they're, they're bad. They're very bad, uh, the moves. The stab boosted move has a power of 30. Uh, yeah, Corvid with the amulet coin is very fitting. Next move it's going to learn normally is Leech Life. That's funny. I st stole that amulet coin off of a woman's finger. Absolutely, Nacta. Absolutely. I will tweet. I will tweet. I, I haven't tweeted yet today. I will tweet. It's a tweet kind of day, folks. It's a tweet kind of day. Um, let's take a look at my excellent team. Uh, okay. Uh, can you guys say how much this team kind of rules now in chat, please? Just let me know that this team like kind of rules, actually. Actually, this team kind of rules now. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying all that of your own accord. And thank you, Alex Oy. Uh, for giving me my tweet. All right, posting this, and we're off to the races again. We're back. We're back to the races after not being at the races for a second. Um, I, I love being at the races. Nine out of ten chatters agree. My team is kind of sick with it. Playing some Pokemon where they die. <laughs> they die forever if they faint. Watch. Okay, folks, um, I believe uh, Alex Oy is the one out of 10 that believes that the team kind of sucks. There's always somebody who has to say something different. What do you give me? A tip about Lighthouse's startling Pokemon in the sea. Okay, so you can heal between these battles. I don't think I could just put like Swagron up first though, right? What did we catch on? We ca caught Ligma on this uh, route, right? So we could probably, what's up, Chris? We could probably um, fish here.
All right, let's see what's up. If I have to switch, I have to switch. We're getting this swagger on. Are you headed to New York, Chris? Awesome. What do we got? A Lunatone, level eight. If he has like Psychic and Crits, he could feasibly kill. So we're gonna switch over to Boombox or Corbett or Bambasmon. Who are we switching to? Rock Psychic. We can't really do Le Sandikin because it's uh, uh, levitating. Um, I guess Boombox just because it's level eight will be fine. Nice, Chris. Have fun. <laughs> we land on his hair. All right, so uh, Karate Chop is normally effective. Uh, so that means 50. Try Attack is half effective. Karate Chop could crit. I don't care. I'll be fine. He's only doing three damage to me. I don't know why I'm agonizing about it. Team has a bit of trouble with Rock. It doesn't have a trouble with Rock types. It has trouble with um, uh, Rock Psychic or like Rock Flying. What's up, Mythosa? I love, I love the, oh, you, you're from New York, do you know this person? Or you should hang out with my friend, this person. That's like one of my favorite things. Because it does, no, the answer is no. <laughs> the answer is always no. However, if you do hit, it's so exciting. And then it's also kind of like, oh, okay, cool, yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, so Swagron versus Slugma. We know that uh, we know what moves this could have, right? It could be Sketch. It could be Ember, but Ember is not very effective against um, Rock, so it'd be neutrally effective. Um, our special defense is only 12. Uh, I think we could take this fight. If we can't beat a Slugma with an Aggron, honestly, what's all the what's all the hubbub about? You know? See, easy, dude. Right. So it'd be neutrally effective, Roach, rather than rather than uh, super, due to the rock. Yeah, sink or swim for Swagron. I think Swagron can beat level sixes, no prob. Level eights, it'll be like, eh, maybe we switch. I don't know. Feels silly switching, but. Dude, Swagron's back sprite rules, dude. Ugh. Lunatone. I'm gonna make this guy Luna gone. And, eh. People here I'm from Lubbock and are like, never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, but if they have heard of it, then them saying, do you know this person actually is like, oh, well, maybe. My favorite is, oh, you're from St. Louis. Do you know Chuck Berry? <laughs> nope. I don't know. Dude, Swagron's trying to learn ancient power. Love to see it. Yeah. I'll delete a move for that. Uh, Metal Sound? Uh, rock Tomb, probably. I don't think I'm ever going to use Rock Tomb. I might use Rock Throw to save some PP on ancient powder. But uh, I'm going to go ahead. This MF said Putt Bowl. Cool mold said putt bowl. This MF said putt bowl. Laughing my ass off. Uh, <laughs> it's so dangerous for me to say shit like that because I misspeak all the time. Yeah, physical ancient power on Swagron, dude. in the bag that's what you got you know I appreciate it thank you a lot welcome on back filler arc appreciate it coming back for three months thanks for the prime sub this would have been cool also this would have been a very cool Pokemon instead of the slugma but what are you gonna do Um, it is, it evolves into Metagross, Chris. 
placement of your face cam is very good because the notification is almost perfectly layer on top of your face. That's true. I should actually put it in the upper right. What do you guys think? Uh, should I put the alerts in the upper right where they're supposed to be, or should I leave them here because it's kind of funny? Matang makes me think of a sentient claw machine. Hey, PBJ Overdose, welcome back. 16 months. Subscription. Now that we've seen another notification. I always go for kind of funny. It's funny where it is. Okay, cool. Dude, this, this aggron? I know it's just kind of like the beginning of a stream and it doesn't feel like, oh, anything that happens in the beginning of the stream can really be that effective. But let me tell you something. Aggron is good, dude. We'll take down a level 5 blue attack. Easily. Funny does rhyme with money. Dude, Aggron's back sprite. Rules, dude. Oh, wrecked. Wrecked. I knew we'd kill it, but I didn't think we'd kill it in one. Dude. Four defense! I'm used to friggin' leveling up a zigzagoon and getting zero attack, so four defense in one level is... is nice to see, I'll say. It's very nice to see. Alright, level eight versus level eight. Let's do it. Tear through him, dude. Tear through the Lunatone. Okay, not quite, but close. Rollout? Yeah, I'm not fearing that. One damage. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, dude. Get out of here. Get out of here, Lunatone. You're not worthy, dude. Look at that tiny arm. That, I don't think that's his arm. That's like a shoulder spike that he's got. Try bananas. That's just his epaulet. That's the swag. You think it's his arm? Let's take a look. Um, I'll accept your apology however you like. However you want to apologize is cool. Like, it's fine. Like any good anime character, Swagron has shoulder spikes. True. You still think it's his arm? You're going to double down, Dry Bananas? You're doubling down right now? So much experience from the Lunatones. Yeah, it is. What's up, Virus? Okay, hold on, hold on. You're doubling down on this? I've got my uh, mouse over my uh, uh, s screen from my Game Boy coming into the system. Um, you want to double down? That's fine with me, dude. Yes, Phil, I think it's a funny little arm. And <laughs> he looks different, actually. Um, the, the rollout is fine. We can, we can deal with the rollout. Um, Okay, two damage, it'll be four damage, then eight damage. Um, and then it'll be several quintillion damage, but uh, we will kill him before then, hopefully. Oh, Quick Claw! Quick Claw, baby, get out of here, Lunatone. Give me 138 experience. Oh, wow! Oh, way more than I thought. 214? All right, Quick Claw, Metal Claw, dude. That Metal Claw was quick. Because it means either he has shoulder spikes or tiny arms on his head. Did apologize for the beak direction. Hey, look, if I'm wrong... And similarly, when I... When I, um... When Flarebro and I were arguing about uh, Quick Attack versus uh, Leaf Blade, neither of them was actually right. The correct answer was... Uh, poison Fang, because it might not have killed, but it had different opportunities to succeed. Um, I think it had an equal chance to bring him to, down to one without a crit, uh, but it could crit or it could poison, and that was the move. Um, Metal Claw. And it had slightly higher power, but it wasn't enough. Easy. Happy to see this run still going. Oh, this run's going to the end, dude. We just picked up an Agron, who kind of rules. 
kind of rules. Um, yeah, we don't need to use a 95% chance to hit one on this one. No, Staticus! Well, I guess that's a wrap. Thank you for the subscription, Connor. Welcome back for 14 months. Another four defense. Just in this past like five minutes, we've gotten Swagger on 12 defense. And <laughs> trying to learn iron defense. Do we take it? I don't think we do. We already have such nuts defense that it's like... Agron could have been a starter. You're absolutely right. Well, yeah, Aaron, yeah. Aaron, as you said. Um, instead of instead of Metal Sound, do we take Iron Defense? I think we might. Because Metal Sound is only for special defense. It'll be like we switch him in. We'd have to switch to our special attacker. So yeah, I'll put Iron Defense in instead of Metal Sound. He could be our tank for like catching. Um, retweet if you think Phil should do crazy arms when the subscriptions show up. I could do like a green screen sub thing so that uh, it can just walk across the screen or something. I've been thinking about doing something like that, but it does take work. Uh, and time is not a luxury that I currently have. Um, despite what it may seem like when I play uh, video games for a few hours. <laughs> uh, cheers, Alex Oi. We're moving along with our my this little secret project that I'm working on. Partner just walked in and under no prompting said Agron's shoulder spike looks like a little arm. It does look like a little arm. That doesn't mean it is a little arm. <laughs> if I had wheels, I'd be a bicycle. That video. <laughs> It's like a cooking show or something, the chefs. Uh, I love that. I love that. It's like, it's like a cooking show and like the the host of the, not a cooking show, it's like a it's like a morning show or something and it's one of those cooking segments um, and they have like this chef on uh, and they make some comment of like, oh, if this was like this, then it'd be something else. And he's like, yeah, and if I had wheels, I'd be a bike. If, I, if my grandma had wheels, she would be a bicycle. There you go. But it was just instant. <laughs> Which you love a good, you love a good instant wit response, you know. Swagron. I cannot tell you how refreshing it is to have a a Pokemon you're training that can train itself and that can continue to train itself after it's gotten in a few fights. You know? It was a horrible explanation, Lady Uck. I did my best, but I couldn't remember anything about it. It was, you know those situations where you start to tell a story and you're like, this is not gonna go well, but you have to finish telling the story? That was what I was just in. Another level, let me get another four defense real quick. Oh, three. Mm. It's embarrassing. All right. Let's go heal, though. Agron rules, dead. Agron rules, dead. Absolute, ah, uh, one square off. Okay, no need to call out Flyconic like that. Uh, I'm calling out everybody who falls into that category. Uh, what gym am I on? I've gotten two badges, Rich. So we're, right now we're just getting our, our Pokemon that we've just caught up to snuff, you know? We gotta be able to snuff. That didn't sound good. Um, use the old rod a little bit more. So much less painful than training Flyconic. Training Flyconic hurt so bad. That was like a solid hour and like 20 minutes of training at the end of the stream. What's my party like? Uh, this is my party currently. Uh, Swagron, the Agron, Boombox, the Exploud, Corvid21, the... Uh, uh, what? I'm not going to open my eyes until I remember what this is named. Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, God. Uh, Murkrow, there we go. Uh, Bambusmon, the Stantler. Ligma Jr., the Slugma. Of course, Ligma Jr., because Ligma was in the first one. And Sandakin, the Sandshrew. I thought for real I was going to, like, close my eyes for so long, not remembering that Pokemon's name that I was going to fall asleep. Alexoy, welcome. Oh, shit. Just the 
cutesiest pie you've ever seen. I'm going to replay that note. Uh, no, I'm not, because uh, uh, Ghost Yan is also followed. Welcome, Ghost Yan. Uh, welcome back for two months, Alex Hoy. I appreciate it. That is the pizziest pie I've ever seen, and I very much appreciate it. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to... Let me just do this real quick. No worries. Just just do this real quick. Nothing happened there. Uh... That, turn this up a bit. So now the alert volume, folks, is higher, but the game volume should be about the same for you. I'm um, gonna I'm replay your uh, thing because you missed the first half, Alex. Wow, second month of subscriptions. Ain't that just the pizziest pie you've ever seen? Better balance, right? All right. You guys think I need to get a new month one subscription sound? Or you think it should still be ba 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 da ba ba? Obviously the future, like above 12 months right now is still that. Except for 20 months, 24 months, which is a special one. Oh wow, our first slugma that we encountered on this route. Very interesting that we had Matang, Lunatone, or your second slugma, I guess, right? Because we fought a slugma up top, but um, not as many of them is what I'm saying. It's rare. Well, Swagron's just killing the game to turn my volume up to account for that. Uh, am I going to have them all play for each of us that are past them when you make a new one asking for me? Um, I don't think that's right, Morgan. It's kind of like, you know, that's like, like I get, I, I understand that it isn't fair in a sense. Um, but it's like kind of like the same argument that sometimes people make against like uh, canceling student debt, you know? It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, I didn't get it, so so no, like, you know what I, you know what I mean? So it's like I'm like I'm on the fence about it. I can't believe you would do this against me specifically. What? Okay, so what I'm saying is like people will say like, oh, it's a great idea, but I paid my way through college and it isn't fair to me to 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 only forgive uh, other people's debt because I paid my way through, so we shouldn't make things better. Um, if we play all the notifications, we can't cancel student debt. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Am I making any sense? I think I'm making sense. In my head, I'm making sense. Phil, you should make a 17 month sound. Oh, interesting idea. I think the next one that I would make would probably be 18, logically. You understand the comparison? Yes, that makes perfect perfect sense. Also thinking of the student dead analogy. Nice, okay, nailed it. Nailed at least my audience. I got it, I just wanted to hear it. Understood, understood, good move, well played. Absolutely finessed. All right, what what level do we get? Honestly, you know what we're gonna do? This is what we're gonna do. One time tax credit for people who played a notification and paid off their student debt. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. All right, so we're gonna put Sandikin in, and then since already Swagron is so good, we can continue to train Swagron as the strong Pokemon to the weak Pokemon who was already on the team when Swagron got caught. The circle of life. Okay, so we'll use Metal Claw against this Lunatone. Not quite one hit it, but very close. And then uh, we'll go ahead and. Uh, Hell yeah, Breezy. Huge, huge, huge acquisition of this swag around here. The weak Pokemon at the same level. Absolutely. And that just shows how good this Aggron is. Aggron's already passed. Sandikin, another four defense for the pile. Special, de special defense is still, unfortunately, 19. So that's something to keep in mind about the Aggron, but... 
Uh, luckily, Agron's HP is also decent, so it's not like a completely frail, horrible, horrible Pokemon, you know? All right, mister. Thanks for dropping by. And this is the one we're going to catch a Pokemon here. Nope, just kidding. We're going to hook a Pokemon here. I like Lunatone's little swivel. I think Lunatone and Solrock have very good design. That's my take on the matter. So Slugma does have Mega Drain. Sandikin's twice as high level. What do you think, guys? 12 special defense. What's Ligma's got decent special attack. I, I we can we could try it. We're gonna we're gonna smack with a with a sand tomb. What's up, Matt? We're gonna okay. Sketch. This slugma just learned sand tomb, dude. All right. All right. That's two failures. You had your chance, Sandikin. It's no longer Sandikin's trial. He's, unfortunately, he sketched the sand tomb that always misses. <laughs> so it's it's no risk to us. Sandikin, you blew it! I'm not... I'm not too worried about a sand tomb from a slugma when I have like 58 defense or whatever. Even if it is 4x. Agron is Agron is just a a steel wall. All right, we're getting up there, folks. We're getting up there. Folks, I hit the strong button on my coffee machine today. I don't know what that does, but I hit it. Anyone know what the strong button does? Throwing sand is difficult to do with any degree of precision. That's true. You can do it with like no precision, like sand attack, but it won't do any damage because you're just throwing sand. Was my coffee stronger? I don't know. I think so. This gives... Oh, oh, you're saying, you're saying, uh, uh, go fight, uh, aggrounds because it would give me special attack, or sorry, regular attack EVs. I assume Lunatone either gives special defense or coffee gains four defense per brew. I think for coffee, you gain speed, but lose accuracy. Like gain speed, lose agility, you know? You see, you're saying strong coffee. I gotcha. No more level fives, please. Oh, who's gonna get it? First, oh hell yeah, baby wins. It is PB and J overdose. I lost the Pokemon because I was so into that question. That's okay. It's alright. No worries. <laughs> alright, Sandikin. Cool dude. Quick draw. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Metal Claw, baby. Am I Team Lunatone or Team Soul Rock? Uh. I think I'm Team Lunatone. I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't use either of them. Unless I have, like, I might use them in this run, but, like, um, as far as design goes, like, coolness of design, it's got to be Lunatone. You know? So many teams in the Pokemon world. There are a lot of teams. A lot of teams on account of the two different versions. What do, you, what do you guys think about Team Weedle versus Team Caterpie? And then separately from that, the answer at the same time though, Team Beedrill versus Team uh, Butterfree. So answer them same. So you, you could either answer 
Caterpie Butterfree, Caterpie Beedrill, Weedle Butterfly, or Weedle Beedrill. Caterpie Beedrill, Caterpie Beedrill, Weedle but Ops, but is free. Oh, wow. It looks like it's just exact opposite. It looks like if you prefer Caterpie, you prefer Beedrill, and vice versa. Oh, we got a Caterpie Butterfree. Oh, people going hard on the Caterpie line. Looks like the Caterpie line on average is more popular. A Weedle Beedrill, real, a real heel over here. Anteater eating ant is a real heel. Picking the straight poison types. Caterpie Beedrill. I think Beedrill has such cool design. I watched the show as a kid and that influenced me. That's fair. Um, he has Mega Drain. Sandikin, she has... Can't risk it. Yeah, the Butterfree episode. The first season is on, uh... What's it called? Netflix. You guys heard of Netflix? It's like this uh, app slash website. It's, it's a streaming website for uh, entertainment products, like television shows. It's not television, you know, not traditional, because it's uh, it's on the internet. By the way, Netflix, if you want, if you want to sponsor the stream, Netflix, uh, swing on over to those DMs. Yeah, you can watch motion pictures on it as well. Yes. Mo moving pictures. The Metapod versus Metapod Harden only battle. Yeah, they just Harden. Harden. Um, the, the Caterpie using String Shot and taking down two Pokemon at once in the first season of... Uh... <laughs> first season of the Pokemon anime is one of just the most ridiculous like it it because like as a kid you watch that and you're like oh string shot dude and then you like open up the game and it does nothing it actually does nothing because almost always you're faster than the other than enemy pokemon when you're playing a single player game as a kid so it's just like you actually think it does nothing they used to mail you a password to get access to stream a movie really I know they, they had the DVD service, which had, like, access to more movies than... It's funny how Netflix was just, like... Was just, like, Redbox, but mail. You know? And now it's Netflix. The old block, Blockbuster could have bought it, and they were like, nah. You have to mail the password back at the end of the rental. Love that barbecue rib. Uh, metal claw. Ooh, really missed that note. Good thing I'm not online where things can be clipped forever. Yeah, just present tense that. Blockbuster doesn't need to buy Netflix. Blockbuster is alive and well. I will say the vibe of like your local video store. Um, ruled. I don't know. I don't know how many. Uh, people in the chat like didn't grow up with a local video store like because you you are too young to have grown up with a local video store but uh it was like a super sick vibe it was a cool vibe in those uh those places i would rent dk64 so many times fond memories of block renting dk64 at blockbuster did friday night at blockbuster was lit family video is still around that's great. Yeah, Family Video, I think, might have been one of the ones that we had. Playing N64. Dude, the, the like, the, like, store systems. Ugh. Those things just, they hit different, as the kids would say. 
Uh, stomp, baby. Let's see what with stomp is. In this. Is it 60, 100? 65, 100 may cause flinching. Yeah, we'll take that instead of uh, iron defense, I think. we I think we want to keep rock throw because if we run out of the five ancient powers, we want another rock move. Whereas metal claw, there's no shot. We run out of 35 metal claws. So let's take up that stomp. Dude, Agron's moveset, each of it, ev <laughs> it's so messed up. Because all four of Agron's current moves, all four of them, are miles better than every move Sunk Cost ever learned. 65 100, 50 90, 50 95 may raise attack, 60 100 may raise all stats. Sunk Cost's best move was Astonish. 30 100 may cause flinching. Great bid. I hope it learns Leech Life next. Yeah, he's sick with it, dude. He's sick with it, dude. Unbelievably sick with it, dude. Sicker than Corvid 21, dude. Was Swag Round for Sunk Cost the best trade ever in Pokemon in Nuzlocke history? Um, I think Bambusmon for, uh, for Flyconic was better. If I'm being honest. A sick with an emote? Okay. Um, I think in order to get a sick with an emote, let's, let's do a quick check here. We would need... Just a quick check here. Just need a quick... Uh... Oh, we're low right now. We're low on subs right now. So we're going to need... Uh... 184 more subs. So if you guys want to, if, if, if that's if that's a good value for you, just trading 184 subs for a sick with an emote, um, I'll make it today if you guys get me 184 subs. Uh, pretty reasonable uh, request, I think, to get 184 subscriptions uh, in return for a single emote. <laughs> Easy, dude. I, I don't. I, I think that should be fine. Uh, we're gonna give Sandikin another shot. Hey, Sandikin, coming through big, dude. All right, that should be enough for me to just poison Fang next turn, no matter what. I'll talk to Netflix. Nice. Poison Fang, baby. Ba ba ba. Ba dun 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 dun. And now Sandikin is level 13. What is Sandikin's next move? Can someone tell me? Definitely gonna spend this on emotes instead of college. I don't encourage that. <laughs> is it level 14? Level 17. Not waiting that long. We got to get uh, a couple levels on Ligma Jr. and then we're off to the gym, I think. I guess we could go north of town and fight trainers. Is there a gym in this town? Team Aqua, maybe? I know you could fight Team Aqua, but I don't remember exactly how you do it. You go to the museum, right? Trainers in the cafe. Yeah, we could go to the cafe. I think you have to fight them in, in a row. Deffy, yeah, the Pokemon we caught in town is Agron. There is another catch north of town, yes. Um, I think there's also trainers up there. Uh, but tell you what. Let's get uh, Bambusmon up front and go up here real quick. Okay, so we can get a catch without encountering anybody first. Ah, uh, this song rules so hard. The only Pokemon we can catch on this route You came back to me! You came back to me! Uh, 
Uh, dupes clauses you can choose, though. Hi, Vastor, you came back to me. Okay, so we're gonna actually supersonic here, I think. That is so funny. All right. And then we're gonna take Corvid. Because Corvid will resist the grass attack. I guess I shouldn't have confused, huh? That's fine, that won't do too much. Five is fine. Okay, we'll super fang because even a, even like hurting himself a lot would be not lethal. So we'll super fang once here. Okay. All right, let's get to work here. Sits so cute. I love the way Ivysaur sits. Pokeball, baby! We've only got 20 and four Premier Balls. I think we'll be okay. All right, no worries. 19 left. Am I allowed to catch it? Of course I'm allowed to catch it, Roach. I think confusion can only last five turns, right? Probably a scant catch rate. Spore? He's got Spore! Okay, so we're gonna super fang it. Because it's, it's low. I'm gonna super fang it. I didn't know that could miss. I've got Insomnia, a perfect counter here. Super fang it, bring it down to like two health probably. What do you guys think Super Fang does? All right, all right, all right. Super Fang doesn't do 420 attack. It does half HP. All right. Oh, are you just saying 420 because 420? Okay, I got you. Um, Boombox time. Shoot! It was so close, too. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. Bone Club! What? Okay. This Ivysaur is weird, dude. It's a weird Ivysaur. Spore, Razor Leaf, Bone Club. We love them. All right, 15 Pokeballs here. We're gonna catch it, right? We are gonna catch it, right? This isn't gonna be a heartbreaking uh, encounter, right? This isn't gonna be a heartbreaking encounter, right? This isn't going to be a heartbreaking encounter, right? My heart will not be broken. Sudden magical leaf. Surprise magical leaf. Oh, I don't, uh, Violet Dark Kitty, I'm not saying the catch rate is low. I'm just uh, familiar with how things have been going this run. Uh-oh. I think we're in a, a slight uh-oh situation. We do have a Hyper Potion, two hands. Oh, you son of a gun! No worries, we're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him. All right. Um, we'll still survive another crit easily with like 15 experience to... Okay, so we've used half of our Pokeballs. No worries, no worries. No worries. <laughs> no worries, we're gonna catch them. We're gonna catch them. We're gonna catch them, no worries. We're not gonna use 20 Pokeballs, four Premier Balls, and then a Dive Ball and not catch the Pokemon.
You know what? I'm gonna actually just switch to Bambus Mon first. Right? Uh, what's your... So, if your spell defense is 35 and yours is 29, you'll probably take a little bit more. Everybody else. I can't switch to either of these guys. Well, he could actually take... No, he can't do that. It's neutral. Alright, we'll switch to Bambus. Uh. Ah, boy. To Hyper Potion. All right, thank you for using Spore there, Ivysaur. It's kind of you. All right, no worries. We got nine more Pokeballs. There's no way this could go south. With nine more Pokeballs and four more Premier Balls. Very glad I bought those ten Pokeballs at the last uh, Pokemon Center. Uh... Okay, all right, no worries, guys. No worries, we've only used 13 Pokeballs. This is gonna come around. This is gonna come around. I could sketch Spore Evan, but it's at the risk of getting bone clubbed. Um, and I can't switch to, to um, Sand Shrew to Sand Attack because of Magical Leaf. All right, six Pokeballs left. Surely uh, our luck is not this bad. Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Oh, hell, yeah, baby. Yes, I will give a nickname to the Ivysaur. What are we naming our second Ivysaur of the game? It cannot be Bulbafet. That's the only rule, in fact, is that we can't name it Bulbafet. But we can name it something similar or... Hell yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ninja. I, I, I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> uh, Django Fett. Jang Bulb Fett is too long, unfortunately. Um, Sauron. Nice. Bulbasaur. Ball Buster. Jangle Fett. Jenga Fett. Baller Sore. Got a couple Saurons. Couple. Jungle Furt. Plant Lizard. <laughs> too, too long, but funny. <laughs> Funny just like the two things it is name. Uh Jenga Fet, Jungle Fet, Jungle Fet, uh Dino Plant, Ivy League. Got a couple Ivy Leagues here. Ivy Fet. All right, we gotta start. We gotta start consolidating. We got. I feel like Ivy Fett. might be leading right now. Ivy League is your real vote. You think it's Ivy League or Ivy Fett right now? I think Ivy Fett is leading by a bit, but Ivy League seems to be picking up a little bit of steam, maybe? Keep in mind it's gonna evolve. <laughs> but all right, Ivy League it is. Ivy League is, has taken the, taken the win here. Ivy League fits perfectly. Just the right number of characters. It's Ivy League. Transferred to someone's PC. You cannot name it Venus League on Evolve because you can't. Guys, we have to replace someone again. Hell yeah, Will. How you doing, bud? Easy, dude. You think Sandakin goes? Because uh, Ivy Fett has Bone Club? Uh, 
Ivy League also has Spore, and to that end, it always induces sleep, and to that end, we could teach it to our Slugma, because Slugma has Sketch. Now, Bambusmon's gotta stay, right? Bambusmon has a 90 power... Oh, that's my... I was like, what is this team? Um, okay, maybe... May, it doesn't have to, but... Um, all right, let's take a look at our folks. We've got Bambusmon, who has good attack, good speed, and has Hyper Voice, which is a very good attack. Now, the counterpoint to that is other people will learn better attacks as they go. Agron is staying, 0% chance. Um, Sandshrew is looking a little weaker now. Looking a little weaker now. Uh, Ligma also looking a little weaker. Uh, honestly, I don't really need Ligma on my team, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, serves the purpose of having Ember, but has horrible defense and horrible uh, HP. Uh, the pro of Ligma is having Sketch, but is it really that good? I think we got to trade in Ivysaur for Ligma. Uh, Corvid 21, I know you guys are like, switch out Corvid, but look at Corvid 21's attack and speed. And then, of course, Exploud, who is the sickest Pokemon that ever did live. Ligma's out. That seems pretty sketch. Nice. Sorry, Ligma. Has anyone earned a nice zone? I don't think anyone's earned a nice zone, honestly. Nobody's really done that much to earn a nice zone. Flyconic. I can't think of anyone who has earned nice zone less than Flyconic. Oh, thank you, Daffy. Thank you. I have. The only person who I think, yeah, Boombox will be the first to go to the nice zone if at any point we'll need to. Boombox is the only one who's like picked up some weight in an unexpected situation. Ivysaur is fun in Smash. That really high like seed attack, kind of cool. Is the title of the stream good? I forgot what the title of the stream is. Sink or swim, right? Something like that. We'll go... Let me quickly make sure I know what these moves are. I think Magical Leaf is swift, right? Yeah. And then... Okay, high crit. Sink or swim time, baby. All right. It's, it's sink or swing time, baby, baby. Cool. Okay, thank you. I love how this this Ivysaur that we caught um, after beating the second gym and prepping for the third gym is, what, six levels lower than the Ivysaur we had on the first gym that died? <laughs> Straight up murdered it, did. Yeah, Ivysaur is not a joke, Pokemon. Oh, that baseline's slapping. Arguably better moves. Yeah, I think so, right? Well, I uh, the other Ivysaur had uh, Poison Fang, which is a very good move, and Leaf Blade, which was very good. Um, but Spore is also the best status-inducing effect. Whew! Had a real rough time with that sense. The best status inducing move in the game. Status effect inducing move in the game. Um, we can we can handle a Slugma's Ember. That's not going to be an issue. And we don't even have to worry about it. Thank you, PB and J. This is the same guy who does the this MF joke every time someone misspells something. I won a Nuzlocke once almost single-handedly with Spore. It's really good. Ivy League is kind of cracked. Ivy League earned that place at Harvard. Not, absolutely not a uh, legacy student. Okay. 
Does move relearned work for leaf leaf blade? Hmm. I don't know. It might, Strother. That's a good point. Where is the relearner? And you need heart scales for it, right? He's in that like town. Oh, he's way away though. Gen 1 seems pretty legacy to you. Nice. Nice battle. Friend went to Harvard and learned microbiology, and now he does HR for Tokyo Steel. <laughs> that sentence is an incredible sentence. Super specific sentence there. Uh, yesterday I watched a Nuzlocke where someone was on Victory Road and lost three Pokemon to one Wobbuffet. That is brutal. Yeah, Bulbasaur's uh, and Ivysaur's learn sets are both separately randomized, yes. Oh, that's why whoever was talking about, like, evolve it at level 24, because you can get two moves. I see what you're saying. For the Sand Shrew. Someone brought that up the other time, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would someone say that? Yeah, counter and shadow tag is brutal. Ooh. That was you? I've come around to understanding your way of thought thinking. In Fallerbore Town. Yeah, I definitely don't remember that one. But it sounds like trees are falling in it. Perhaps a woodcutting town. Uh, lost 12 HP. All right, Ivy, Ivy League is leveled up to 14. That'll probably be good for these, like, trainers around the corner, right? Oh, are you drawing, drawing Swagron, Lovemaker? Thank you very much. Uh, I think you're trying to say great pizza, but I appreciate the comment. How are you doing, Winter Melon? Winter Melon. One screen. That's a really long Twitch username. You got a long ass name, dude. This MF got a long name. <laughs> it's older odd that. Typed it yourself? Oh my god, how long were you at the computer, dude? Seven days and seven nights. Wobbuffet was banned in singles until they nerfed Encore, I think. Wobbuffet, um, is in, like, the top tier, right? The, like, Uber? Is that true? That's fun. I like long names. They're the source of my power. Hell yeah. It's good that you know that. All right, let's fight some trainers, folks. It's been... Oh, let's well, heal first, and then... Then uh, I'll say that same exact phrase. And I'll say it in the same tone. You ready? You can compare and contrast. You can clip that one and then do it. Oh, God, I forgot what I said. All right, I'm going to do it. All right. Yeah, I should probably buy some potions. Because I haven't in some time. That is true, Winter Melon. Ten Pokeballs. Uh, five potions. Oh, I need to use my amulet coin, huh? One super potion. Actually, no, I'm just going to load up on Pokeballs. That's the better move. Ten more Pokeballs. And, of course, a Harbor Mail. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wobbuffet deaths don't count because... <laughs> that's funny. Uh, yeah, I, I, um... I think the fun of a... Um... Nuzlocke run is the bullshit deaths, you know? Sell two revives. It's also the thing that makes you really upset, but... I guess I could just sell the upgrade. I'll hold off on that. I don't need the money right now. I've never played Pokemon, so watching the stream where it's mixed up Pokemon is like watching a stream in a foreign language. I guess, arguably, you're on the same page as everyone else, though. In a way. Get two more potions. And, uh... Oh, I should wait until I can buy ten. I was Haunter solo carry, and when she died, I cried for six hours and went to bed. Fair response. Honestly, a little bit of uh, restraint shown in that response. Yeah, so Wobbuffet is, all he does, he's, he's like a, 
He's actually, I believe, if I understand correctly, just like the little tail thing. And then he's just like a big balloon Pokemon. And when you hit the balloon, it's like the idea is it bounces back and into. It's like a punching bag is the, is the model. Um, I think we put Corvid up front because of the amulet coin. But Corvid will be up front on all of them, right? I guess we want to train Ivy League the most right now. Ivy League and Swaggeron are like our... Oh, okay, so it's it's just like trainers, okay. Great. I didn't know he had lore. I don't know if it's lore, that's just like what my understanding of the Pokemon is. Okay, Caterpie level 13 could feasibly have something like um, uh, Megahorn, um, but I'm not super afraid of the uh, uh, amount of damage it would do because we're also poison type and it's a Caterpie. So, uh, another fight between, by the way, oh, this sucks though. We actually have to switch. There's, there, I'm not going to do any damage to it. Um, both of our moves are uh, double resisted. Um, plus this way we get amulet coin. Another, it was another fight though between, uh, starters. Has lipstick, which is extremely funny to me. I didn't, I didn't recognize that. All right, Seal, doing a little clap. Um, and we're gonna just go ahead and cross chop that. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and cross chop that Seal. Wow. Isn't it super? Isn't he ice? I guess he's not ice. Seal is the laziest Pokemon name. There's there's some lazier names, I think. He isn't ice yet. Oh man, that stinks. I thought he was ice. Uh, I doubled my money to one hundred and four dollars. I'm like, pay up, kid. I need you to pay me more than 52. Give me 104. <laughs> I am definitely a villain. Killed his Pokemon and then was like, that's not enough money, child. And asked for more money. Ice Seal Phil, nice. Ekans is iconic, but also lazy. Ekans is less lazy than Seal. Um, I mean, Pidgey is also pretty Pretty lazy, dude. I know I know it's a common Pokemon, but pretty lazy. Um, I guess we'll put Sand. Mm. It, it, it's actually more likely that we end up subbing out Sandikin. Ivysaur is not getting um, subbed out. Thank you, little sushi roll. I love a good. I love to s just switch it over to a nice little, nice little voice acting voice. It's not bad. It's not bad. Literally the same word, but spelled incorrectly. True. Um, there's other examples of that, right? Geodude is a sick name, yeah. Um, what else is a sick name? All millennials do is kill the Pokemon industry and ask for free handouts. All right. So unless he has some crazy move that's going to wake up and kill me, and he doesn't even get it. That's Spore, baby. Ivy League is nuts. Sky Armory. That's a good one. It also, it, I think Scar is related as well. Because there's like, it said something in its description about like how its armor is made of scars. Okay. Yeah, Cotton Spore. Let me show you what Cotton Spore is. We have just four sick moves. And then I have a... a not even a 100% chance to hit move that reduces their speed. We're gonna go ahead and stop learning uh, Cod Sport, but I will go ahead and learn Leaf Blade. <whistles> Nuts! Nuts Pokemon! Replacing Razor Leaf, of course. <laughs> Nuts! Ivy League is busted, dude. 
Got Leaf Blade back anyway. Two moves in one level up. Yeah, so Bulbasaur learns, uh, I think, Poison Powder and Stun Spore at the same level. So that's what that was. Mr. C, dude. You want to talk about lazy names? Oh, poor guy. Poor guy saw his older brother just get absolutely destroyed by Ivy League. He gives you like 10 sodas? I don't know. Uh, they're not randomized, but he'll give me whatever it is. Level 16. Two, 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 two. One. Uh, Lunatone. Take him down. Yeah, Golem is ridiculous. And finally, Vile Plume. Okay, so I think we do go to Corvid for Vile Plume. <laughs> Forget about it, Jake. It's Lunatown. Someone messaging me? What's going on right now? Or did it just my phone? Okay, my phone must have lost internet for a second because I just got a million buzzes, but it was nothing. It was like spam emails from CVS and stuff. Not sure why that's buzzing my phone. Barber 21, get the lava lob, dude! Vile Plume and All Timer, yes. Especially for Gen 1. 768, alright. A little bit of money. What's up, Mr. C? Half a dozen bottles of soda pop. $300 a bottle of soda pop. That's good. Team Vile Plume or Blossom? I'm insulted you would think I would be on Team Blossom. Look, Blossom is cute, but Vileplume is just as 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 uh, a really just funny guy would say, sick with it. Yeah, you gotta have big pockets. What the heck? Team Blossom? Come on. Come on. Grow up. <laughs> I love grow up. It's so insulting. It's so insulting to tell someone to grow up. Ah, oh, this is great. Yeah, Blossom's nice. I'm not saying Blossom's not nice. But Vile Plume is sick, dude. Is this the... Okay, this is the museum. a little steep. I don't know. The guy's arguing about the Wicked Witches. Oh, yeah. Classic. Classic little video. What are you doing here? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Back in Rust Turf Tunnel? He's like going out of his. He's like, remember? Back in Rust Turf? Don't you remember me? I'm a criminal? <laughs> Take this. You have to forgive me. Oh, he's a nice guy. Team Aqua's not so bad. Uh, that TM suits you more than it does me. I assume it was like an insult. Blossom nice? I do think Blossom is nice. How are you doing, Pumpkin Army? Look. Oh my lord, dude! That Team Aqua member was like, look, I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. Have a TM for Aeroblast. Corvid and Swagron can learn it! Swagron can learn Aeroblasted! This guy... Absolute king! Oh, it's a philosopher with a knife. Do you, do you play um, a lot of Pokemon, Pumpka? I assume, I assume those are your remotes and that you're... Upset that I uh, trash talked Blossom.
Word. Uh, alright, let's get some battles going. If our goons didn't bungle things in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. Bro! You're a goon! This guy's like, traffic's horrible today! Bro, you're traffic! Alright. If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? He says to a child that approaches him in the museum. Maybe keep it down? Uh, what I learn here, I can put to use on nefarious deeds. Classic, classic henchman phrase. Uh, I'm gonna use use this on nefarious deeds, dude. Our boss, the linchpin, is near. We exist for the good of all, dude. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those. Uh, I love a guy who builds ships named Stern. Wait, how's it pronounced? What I miss? What I miss? I do my darndest. That's great. We can prepare for our expedition. What? What? The bad guys came upstairs. We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts, though. Shut your yap and fork them over. Haunter. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I believe Metal Claw is not very effective. Rock should be okay, though. Confusion, okay. Crit me for 15. Stats up. Stats up, he crit for 15, we're okay. Even, like, a Psychic crit would only do, like, 20 now. If you had Psychic. Um, so we're in, we're in good shape. Plus, we're faster. Done. Done. Easy peasy, dude. That looked scary, but... Swagron rules, dude. Sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. A Skarmory. Okay. So, steel is not very effective against steel, right? So this would be neutrally effective if he had a steel attack? Yeah, I know. Beak Freak did. However, I think rock is neutral on steel, right? So rock would be uh, super effective against him. I have to look this up. I don't know steel very well. Um, Pokemon type effective chart. Okay. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Uh, steel against steel is half effective. Okay, so it'd be neutral. Rock against steel is also half effective, so it'll also be neutral. But we have huge defense, so does Skarmory. I think we just lead with a potion and see what happens. Is swag around this game's beak freak? I why would you say that? How little faith. Ye of little faith. That stinks that he just used that, but um Oh, that stinks a lot. That really does stink. Um, we do not have a lot of special attack moves, especially after moving Slugmo away. We have uh, ID Sword, but uh, Skarmory is uh, obviously part uh, flying, so that could be bad for us. This this is not great. Yeah, Super Fang. Super Fang is, is decent, but Corvid 21's defense is 20. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to learn what moves Skarmory has first. While using Ancient Power and Rock Throw. Maybe we'll end up with a stat raise here. 
Okay. And also, this trainer is very unlikely to use potions. <laughs> I guess we're going one damage at a time from here on out, guys. I don't think I can risk putting, uh, ooh, the attack raise, too. He's literally setting up to sweep my team right now. You think we go to Ivysaur and go for the Spore? All right, Alex, sorry. thanks for coming by, bud. If we go to Ivysaur, we have to hope there's no, oh, no. He's max defense with raised attack, dude. We could boombox with try attack for the potential poison or uh, paral paralyze or burn. Ivy League can go for the uh, spore. Corvid can go for the super fang, but at that point, then afterwards, it's still gonna have to whittle down. Uh, so yeah, you can't use poison moves, but try attack. Oh no, try attacks freeze. Never mind. It's not poison. It's freeze, paralyze, or burn. Um. I'm going to go to Boombox for the try attack. Okay, so Gust from a attack boost its Garmory does 9 to him. I also have Moonlight on Boombox, so if we need to stall it out, this might be a better Pokemon to do that with. Let's hope to get our first, because we haven't gotten any procs off of try attack yet. Karate Chop is neutral. Yeah, Karate Chop's neutral, but Tri Attack is only resisted once, so it's actually a little bit more powerful. Plus, it has the added effects. Crit Bypass boosts, I think. Does it? I didn't realize that. Sure does! Didn't realize. What a relief. It's like, this could be anything. We're a little bit hurt right now. It seems like such an important mechanic. It really does. A Phoebus with cross chop, dude. And solar beam? What? That was Sky Attack? Bro. Oh, he didn't count on being meddled with by some meddling kid. I came to see which was taking so long to snatch some parts. And you s <laughs> What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <gasps> what? What is this? <laughs> what? All right. All right. <laughs> 2005, dude. I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. No, you're not dressed for the part. Pokemon people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What are we doing? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. You're too so young. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. Don't you forget it. What did that even mean back then? Maybe like simpleton? Is You think that's what they were trying to say? Like some like dated... Like... Why are there no major gangs trying to destroy the planet in this world? You don't think there are? And I'll leave it at that. All right. That's <clears throat> what it used to mean. 
Oh, I was su super not expecting to see that word. Yeah, thanks for charging me to save your uh, museum, by the way. Oh, wait. I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? No, my name's Scott. Just saw Team Aqua run away from me here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe. Just maybe. This trainer. All right, I think you're going to become a good friend, so let's register each other in our Pokenavs. That was wild. Be seeing you, Phil Jr. I avoided I avoided reading the dialogue because I was like, uh, this might be disallowed. Is there a gym in this town? I guess I thought there was a gym in this town, but I guess it's just this, which I don't really care about, to be honest. I kind of care about it. I cared about it as a kid, um, but it's not going to make my Pokemon stronger. And Pokemon are for battling. They're tools to make uh, our desires become reality, um, or whatever every villain always says. Uh, okay, let's move up. Here? I feel like there's a May battle up here, maybe? Swagron's still only level 14, actually. Take the low road and look for Pokemon, bro. You gotta. You simply gotta. Sound a bit like Team Rocket there. Swagron's punching so far above its weight. Yeah, seriously. Why would I know where May is? That's fine. Reap my Pokedex any time, dude. Right. Anybody be playing uh, that Pokemon Sword game lately? I've been playing a bit of that Pokemon Sword game lately. Not very much, but amazing. Incredible. Incredible. The other Pokemon on this route is a Meganium. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Truly stunning. Uh, Steel's fine against grass. Endeavor, huh? Incredible route. This... this Pokemon's wild. W what is this route? Okay, we'll go to Corvid, who should be okay here with a Gust. Endeavor won't kill. Razor Leaf shouldn't kill. Endeavor will do a little bit of damage. Okay. We're faster. We're good. That was scary. That was very scary. I know, I know that Endeavor can't kill, but if Meganium happened to be like really fast for some reason, or had a quick claw on it, which seems to be what happens about 60% of the time in this game, um, <laughs> that could have been, that could have been a problem. All right, so we're not gonna train on that route, I guess. Uh, but I guess the whole route's gonna be like that, huh? I guess we could just put Corvid up front. Corvid might be able to one shot. Stab boost at 60 with more attack than... Well, let's see what's, what else is going on on this route first. Oh, trainers. Okay, good. So let's do... Um, let's do Corvid and... Swagron. That should be good. Or give him Arrow Blast. That's true, I could give him Arrow Blast. But they're faster, so if they stun Spore... It's no good. Not Gucci. Or maybe they weren't faster, I don't remember. Crobat and Seal. Man! Crobat, you say. All right, let's hope uh, Swagron gets a quick claw here. I'm not gonna rely on it, but uh, we're gonna go for a Gust on the Seal, right? That'll be not stronger than Cross Chop. Cross Chop's stronger. 80% though. Um, might get the one hit, which is worth it. And then Ancient Power of the Crobat. Swagron with the Quick Claw. You'll love to see it. 
Apparently not enough, though. Corvin missed. Don't love to see that. Seal used Water Pulse. You'd hate to see that. Oh, God. Okay. Um, and Crobat has a berry on it? Okay, so we'll gust the Crobat. We'll switch this for Boombox. Another Odor Sleuth. It's a busted team. Our team got a lot better. The beginning of this run was not so kind to us. Okay. So now... I'm not... I think Gus will... Ki yeah, I, I think I gotta do that. And then try attack the seal. Quick attack. Alright. I'm gonna accept that the uh, Crobat sucks. So actually prioritizing the Crobat was the wrong move there. Boombox leveled up! 4 HP? 3 HP. That's the fifth month in a row you've been here. Don't you say goodbye. Hello! Hey, welcome back, Frederick. Appreciate it. Five months in a row. Or sorry, four months in a row, but five months total. Boombox is trying to learn Whirlwind. An incredible move to potentially learn. Um, I should really forget Cut now that I have Tri Attack, but I can't. Um, I don't think Whirlwind is really worth taking because if Boombox gets trapped by like a, a Wobbuffet or whatever, uh, Boombox should kill it. We can remember it if we need it. Quick Attack is a move that is quick, but also an attack. Can it end trainer battles? No, but it'll switch their... I didn't realize that they had two Pokemon each. Okay, that is interesting to know. Uh, we've got ourselves Corvid out against a Drowsy, though. That could be decent. It switches their Pokemon to hands. Kabutops. Okay, so Kabutops is part rock. So Corvid's got to go now. And we're going to switch Corvid for Ivy League. And then we're going to take... Uh, Tri attack is 100 is 105 on Drowsy. Karate Chop is uh, twice as powerful, so 100 on Kabutops with Crit. Kabutops is probably more dangerous, but Ivysaur is uh, part poison, so we're going to try to blow up Drowsy before Drowsy can hurt Ivysaur. Drowsy's gross. That's so rude of you to say that. Where's Drowsy pointing to? Apparently to hell. All right. Corvid, two more attack. You'll love to see it. Kinesis. Deuces. Deuces. Thank you, Badgers. Drowsy was a perv in the Mystery Dungeon game. <laughs> I can't speak to that. All right, the Poke fans over here, uh, you better pay up, dude, because that was stressful. Have you no compassion or pity? There you go. 4,800, I'll take it. That wasn't close to what I could do. I'll have you as, as my captive audience as often as possible. Okay. Bye. I'm running away from you as fast as is humanly possible. Weirdo. I'm a child. Don't talk to me like that. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right, up to the Pokemon counter. My enjoyment of Drowsy really depends on whatever art I'm looking at. That's a Drowsy trainer for you, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to play you guys a video um, and, uh, and, and add a classic. How about a classic? This is, this is an all-time classic. Enjoy. Do you guys want to play a board game? Okay, sounds good. Something simple this time. <laughs> okay, how about Monopoly? Never played it. Really? Okay, well, it's very easy. Easy for you or easy for us? <laughs> easy for everyone. You just go around the board, you collect properties, and you try to make the other players go What bankrupt. do the different characters do? Oh, nothing. There's no difference. Then why are there different tokens? I don't know. I guess it's just for fun. 
This is confusing. It's very easy. You'll get it when we start playing. Here, just roll the dice. Okay. I rolled a three, so I go six spaces. Uh, no, why would you go six? Because I'm the car. No, so remember, the only thing I've said so far is that that doesn't matter. Uh, when did you say that? You landed on Baltic Avenue, so that means you get to buy it for $60. Okay. Um, what if I don't want to? Well, you should, because it's cheap, and all property is good to have this way. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? He's always trying to get me to make bad decisions. Okay, uh, if you don't want to buy a property, then it goes up for auction. This is confusing. Yeah, are you just making up rules as you go along? <laughs> no. Do you want to buy it? You really should. No. Fuck you. Okay, um, I will start the bidding then. One dollar. How much money do we have? You start with $1,500. I bid $1,500. Nice. I do not recommend bidding $1,500 for Baltic Avenue. Oh, so it'd be good for me, but it's bad for him. Hmm, interesting. No, it's just you're going to be out of money before your first turn, right? And the point of the game is to have money. This is confusing. I'll just go. Um, okay, so I rolled doubles. So that means I get to go again after this turn. Wow, how convenient. The thing you did makes you go twice. No, that makes sense. Thank you. It's because you're the hat, right? No. This is confusing. All right, all right. We don't have to play. I feel like maybe I'm forcing it a little bit. We want to play, but you keep cheating. I don't think he's cheating. It's just a really complicated game. No, he always does this. He cheats left and right and wonders why we don't play board It's games. because there's too many rules. How are we supposed to know that you're not allowed to spend all of your money on Baltic I Avenue? still think that was a good idea. That any good? Thank you, PBJ. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Cheers, Bastion. Noted. Noted. Wow, a second month of subscriptions. Ain't that just the pizziest pie you've ever seen? Welcome back, Temporani, and cheers, Deffy. Of a steel salesman? I'm glad you liked that one. That, that one felt like it was like one for me, you know? Because it's like a, such a specific uh, experience to being in comedy. I'm glad you guys liked that one. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I, I, I like that one. Um, but I also, when I made it, I was like, well, I don't think anybody's, I don't think this is going to be a big hit or anything. And it wasn't a big hit, but I'm glad you guys like it. Don't mega drain me. Aw, oh, man. But to 12. How powerful is Sand Tomb? Is it 15? <laughs> 22 times 2 is 44. That's not 50 stronger. And this will do at least that much damage. So we're good. Boy, have to do math against a level 8 Slugma. Doesn't bode well for Sand Kim's future. Honestly, it feels like I shouldn't even train Sandikin, but I know that Sand Slash is actually quite good. Sand Slash is quite good.
like in the long term, it's more likely that I'll want Sand Slash over um, Santler. A lot of people have said that, Lady Yuck. A lot of people have said that. Anything that might get stabbed Earthquake is incredible if the RNG's God smile on us, absolutely. All right, my little snack is over. Excellent point about Earthquake, yes. So it's it's worth holding on to Sandikin for the type coverage, and since I have two normal types on my team right now. Um, plus, it's always fun to evolve a Pokemon, you know? There's something just really neat about evolving a Pokemon. Who's this lady? Okay. I don't remember what's going on with the trick house. This is a new uh, area. <laughs> I mean, typically, yes, temporary. All right, we're going to try to train our Sandshrew a little bit. Did you feel the tug of our soul-soothing fragrance? No. A barboach. All right, can't, can't fight this one. Puzzles and trainer battles. Yeah, that's right, 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 right. Yeah, barboach is one of those Pokemon that is just... Cut up that fish, please. The soul-soothing fragrance of a fish. I'm a Totodile. I do feel bad killing it. That's an Irwin right there. That's an Irwin right there, folks. Peace, Erwin. You weren't led astray by our aroma. Uh, the Barbouch used Fisher, uh, Deffy. And the Barbouch was higher level than Sandikin, but luckily we had switched it by then, so. Nice, Banders, you're absolutely right. Is it Amy and Liv? I think I might have... I think they might be registered. See that shit? Core memory right there. These trainers. Lapras, whose sprite is amazing. Um, so I'll switch out Sandikin for... Corvid's probably going to be able to kill the bug. We have to hope that Lapras doesn't have, like, Ice Beam. Because that would potentially be lethal for Corvid. Um, I guess we could go to... No, we can't go to Swagron. We have to go to... We can go to Boombox instead. Well, Boombox has Karate Chop as well. And Boombox is sturdier. So we're going to go to... That's the thing about Bambus right now. Bambus is like a little weaker than Boombox, so um, it's not as safe, and it might be a good enough reason to get rid of it, but I don't know. We'll see how we feel about that. All right. Let's hope that's sufficient for Illumise. But not quite. Covet. Okay. Um... Let's 
try attack that Lapras. It's stronger than chopping it. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna kill the Illumise. It might be the wrong move, but uh, Lapras' face is like, dude, what the heck is you doing, dude? Come on, stop trying to kill me, dude. All right, here we go. Oh, we're good. Hit Boombox, not Corbett. We're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. I wasn't worried for a second. Chop him up. Chop him up. Chop him up. Chop him up. Yeah. 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 I'm glad Sandikin got the, the level up there. Because, uh... We're really pushing here. Sandikin gets a level in one... See, yeah, they register. I knew it. God, I'm sick with it. All right, is there... <gasps> okay. I thought there was maybe grass over here. Only one Pokemon. Oh! Okay. Aggron might have been the move, actually. Okay. Uh, let's go for a tri attack status effect. Chesto barrier boombox after. <coughs> okay, we have to. These people and their berries, man. This guy is so rude. We're gonna go for the crit. Yeah, I can do that, Lady Uck, but uh, who am I switching to? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> I mean, it's fine if he wants to use a whole turn to recover 10 HP, but... Uh, is kind of sick. Right, this time, instead of running, I'm just going to walk around this corner. All right. All right, so we got a fisherman and potentially some grass over there, but uh, let's go back to the town real quick. Hope Yawn and Recycler are slacking his only moves. I think we met uh, Slacking earlier and maybe had like Swift? There was, Slacking was one of the wild Pokemon in that uh, cave. Recycle, Harvest, Trevenant. I don't know what Harvest is. It's like really good for berries or, or something. The ironing, uh, uh, irony of a Slacking with Swift tickled me. Funny thing is they're very fast. There's, I always, I, I like, think of them in a similar mindset as Snorlax, but it's not that they're not fast, it's just uh, they're lazy. Regain held berries, I gotcha. I gotcha. So I could fish here. Far-fetched. This, of course, is normal flying. It's not uh, the fighting type. So Swagron, totally fair to... Oh, he's level 5! I missed entirely that he's level 5. <laughs> okay. Okay, Swagron, you might want to hit the level 5 Farfetch'd. Whatever, dude. 
He's nervous! Catch him! Got him a break! Oh my god, he's got the Pidgey too, dude! He's got the Pidgey, he's got the Farfetch'd. What's next? A friggin' Spearow, dude? Not bad. Giraffic. Yeah, okay. Rude. Easy. If it was another normal flying from uh, first generation, that would have been very funny to me. Making an uproar. Still going to use it again next turn, so we can just use that. Get a little quick claw action in there for Swagron. Ba ba da ba da. 510 experience. You'll love to see it. Lost even more annoyed now. You'll love to see it. Who's this guy? Foo foo foo. That's useful, isn't it? I guess the question is, do I purposely take the nor the double battle, or do I uh, avoid it on purpose? I'm going to take the double battle with uh, Bambus and Corvid, though. Sandakin is, is a pure weak Pokemon right now. He's a weak type of Pokemon. Um, we need to get... Uh, Sandakin up. The other thing we could do is if this is tough, I could switch out uh, Corvid and put in... <gasps> oh! Oh! Dear. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, do oh, please. Oh, please. Please. Please, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, please, no. Oh dear. Oh dear, please. Please no. Please no, dear. Oh dear, please no. Um, I think I uh, high jump kick the Delcaddy. And maybe Super Fang the Mewtwo. I can't run. Uh. Hyper Voice is a spread move, but it also hurts my ally. So in order to use that, I would have to use uh, Exploud as well. Um, I could do it I, because Exploud has soundproof. Um, and that is an option as well. Um, I don't have any dark type attacks, Love Maker. I wish I did. Corvid would be the one to have it. Um, I do have bug type attacks, though. And Corvid has one. Okay, so... Twin Needle... Do you think Twin Needle is going to do more or Super Fang? I think his defense might be high enough that I should just rely on... on... I got to have faith in my Pokemon. I got to go Twin Needle. Rude. Stomp. Oh my god. Perfect. Ah! Here's the move. Here's the move. Switching to soundproof Pokemon. Hyper voice the both of them. Don't get killed by Bone Rush. And I'm going to tell you guys. Actually, I don't know if the crit uh, removes this. But Mewtwo's attack was lowered. Oh my gosh. The hyper voice for the double... Oh, not even a double kill. Okay. All right. Mewtwo's apparently a rather strong Pokemon. Turns out Mewtwo might be kind of strong. Um...
Uh, Lovemaker, you do that if, if... That's not always true, Lovemaker. It's not always true. I disagree with you. High jump kick, I expected to one-hit KO the Delcaddy. And so if that's the case, you want to get the damage in. You want to kill the one you can take care of quick. The, the idea is you want to take turns off the board, right? So that's sometimes the case, but sometimes not. Uh, no, Banjers, it, it, uh... Well, I'll, okay, so... I know... Hyper Voice hits three in Sword. I guess maybe it's different in, in this generation, but I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything for sure. But I do know that it's it hits all three in the newest generation. Or at least I'm 90% sure. I don't know, dude. You're making me doubt myself. Are berries random? That would be broken, but fun. Berries are not random. That would be broken and also fun, but they're not. Oh, man. Survived our first Mewtwo encounter, guys, with no fatalities. Nearly a fatality, but no fatalities. Soft and loamy soil. 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 A thunderstone! Okay, so that's... This is root 103, this is root 110. So we could do an old rod catch. What's up, Lomi Sand? Music in this game is non-stop bangers. You're not wrong. Oh, of course, yeah. Lomi, it, Pokemon teaches you some, some uh, uh, vocabulary. Color vocabulary? All right. Thank you, Lummy. The only Pokemon we can catch on this route is Ludicolo. Does Spore affect grass types? That's my question for you guys. Phenomenal. A Ludicolo with Hyper Beam, or so Solar Beam, rather. Go ahead and put that Ludicolo to sleep. And then I think maybe I... We got a replacement Ivysaur, Delrian. Can anybody hurt it without killing it? Sand Tomb, maybe. Oh, Super Fang, yeah, of course. Lombra has such a great vibe. Why did they ever add a third <laughs> evolution to it? I don't know. Do you think this is going to make the team? I guess instead of Sandshrew? It's good, right? Miss Sugar Pop? It's because you redeemed it, Lady Up. <laughs> we do need some vibes on our team. You don't think we have any vibes? <laughs> All right. Fast asleep, 25% health, 24 Pokeballs. 
Let's do it. Okay, no worries. <laughs> nice. We do, but they be whack. Thanks to the bets, Lady Ugg. Nice. I think this goofy dude's name is Ridiculo. Boom, baby. Two Pokeballs. We got the Ludicolo. What is their name? The carefree Pokemon, when it hears festive music, all the cells in its body become stimulated, and it begins moving in rhythm. It does not quail, even when it faces a tough opponent. Give a nickname? Of course. Fine Apple, Coca Colo, Ridiculo, Fine Apple, Fine Apple, Fine Apple, Fine Apple. Is it just Fine Apple? No quail. Fine Apple, Fine Apple, Fine Apple, Fine Apple, Fine Apple absolutely runs away with it. It's a fine apple. It's fine. Fine apple runs away with it. Is that a pineapple on its head? It just, it's, it is a weird Pokemon. That's, that, that is how much I know. I don't think I get it, Anteater. I don't think I understand it. Let's go take a look at our new Pokemon. Nicknames are better than anything I could come up with. You, you don't know that. Something might, you, genius might strike. You never know when genius might strike, you know? I thank everyone for their support today. Unfortunately, we didn't get the win this time, but you gotta just keep, keep on that field. All right, fine apple. Good special attack and special defense there. Solid stats there. Um, not like, Agron level impressive, but but good. Uh, <laughs> His moves are insane. They're so good. They're so good. Those moves are so good. Okay. I mean, there's not a lot of PP, but, uh, I mean, lock on, not good. No reason to use it. But Solar Beam, very powerful. If it's sunny, can just go straight through. Uh, 120 80 Hydro Pump. 150 100 if it's at full health. I'm not kicking out Ivy League, are you kidding me? Ivy League is also sick with it. Oh my god, the, the turnaround on this run, dude. How, how incredibly we have turned around. They are good moves because it can't learn any more than this. Kick out Ivy League is too privileged. Um, I think we get rid of uh, Stantler. It actually can't. Wait, it actually can't learn any more moves? I guess it, it'll, it'll, um... It can learn moves if I level it up and then remember moves, right? That's wild. That's wild. I think we get rid of Stantler, guys. Anybody uh, upset about it? It's learn set is fully empty. That's weird. Do we use it then? Yes, yeah, Stantler killed fucking Mewtwo. Bambusmon nice sound? I think so. I think our first, uh... Yeah, Bambusmon uh, has earned the nice sound. You're absolutely right. Bembismon has earned the creation of the nice zone in this game. 
Oh, uh, can't do the, it's just nice, that's right. Nice zone. Oh, don't worry, we'll make nicer wallpaper. Welcome to the nice zone. Fine Apple has Hydro Pump, Water Spout, and Solar Beam. I mean, right now, honestly, it's just a water type for us because we have a grass type. Um, and it's totally it's totally feasible that we get rid of it. Um, but I don't think we can justify having a second normal type that we um, prefer Explode to when we have the option of having a new type coverage. The three genders, Hellbox, one, and the nice sound. <laughs> Okay, let's get a couple levels real quick. We can't we can't um, train on the other route because it has uh, ridiculously powerful uh, meganiums and uh, ivy sores. When I die, I want to go to box one. <laughs> All right, Slugma, what level are you? Level five? Easy, dude. Bye! 55 experience all the way up, level 6. Get yourself two speed. You love to see it. Get another fish going. That, yeah, that move is, is, if I understand correctly, the strongest water move in the game when you're at full health, right? Very nice, very nice. Unless there's like a... I don't know. Pulling out lava and moons from the sea. Yeah, I got another moon. It's on par with Hydro Cannon. Right, Hydro Cannon is the other. It hurts yourself, right? Or like... It, oh no, Hyper Beam. It's like a Hyper Beam style. You have to rest the next turn. Pineapple with another level up. Solid level of twos. You love to see an even spread in in the uh, in the stat game. Dun, dun, dun. A lot of training in this very specific spot today, for sure. So. Oh, thought we were gonna go first. Luckily, we did not make an error. Two times three is six, times four is 24, times five is 120, times six is 720. Six factorial is indeed 720. Three special defense there. Wow! Fine apple with a double level up off of a single lunatone. I didn't come here to learn. I didn't get elected to read. I was elected to lead. Oh man, I biffed that one. Level 10. We should be faster than a level 10 slugma. I was elected to lead, not to read. There you go. Our uh, slugma is named Ligma. Barden. Sorry to tell ya. La, 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 la. Actually, it's named Ligma Jr. because our last Ligma was named Ligma. And that was in the other game. So this is... Uh, I think the lore is that the Ligma in our uh, box right now is related. Did he say that, Duffy? All right, Lunatone. I think we'll be faster than a level six Lunatone, but also we'll survive one hit from a Lunatone that's level six. So we'll just Hydro Pump it if not. I love, love the animation for Hydro Pump in this game. Rules, absolutely rules.
really lacks some RPG elements. Like what? I feel like it's like a pretty straightforward RPG, right? The classic number. Hydro Pump is the move I just used, Will. This one here. <laughs> no Pokemon bikini armor. Yeah, the really effective high defense armor that only covers like 10% of your body. I was playing some Pokemon earlier, but mine was different. How do you get the weird nerd in the corner to show up? I don't know. I just don't know. He's always been there for my, my playthrough. And I hate him! Alright, Lunatone level 9! Alright. I honestly believe the next generation won't know why 6 was funny, they'll just say nice reflexively. I mean, there, there certainly are cases of that already, right? Dude, he levels up quick, huh? He's already level 11, guys. I feel like I just stopped in this corner here. It's also like the ideal training spot for a water type. I feel that way about Fs in chat. Can we get some Fs in chat for this uh, Lunatone that's about to die? It's about to very much die. So Fs um, in chat, I believe the origin, um, you'll, people, someone can correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, there is a video uh, that went viral called Press, Press F to Pay Respects. Um, it's a video of, I think, a Call of Duty game. And everything you do in a Call of Duty game uh, gives you experience. Um, and so there's story parts of the Call of Duty single player as well. And one of the things of this single player game was you're at a funeral for one of like your friends that died in the war. Uh, and it, you go up to the casket and it says, uh, press F to pay respects. And uh, you do, and you lay your hand on the casket and as you lay your hand on the casket, you get experience and level up, and it's like, level up, you gained experience. Like, <laughs> it plays like every <laughs> every bell and whistle that they do in the Call of Duty franchise. And so that went like mega viral. And so people said, press F to pay respects. And so now F is synonymous with uh, anything bad happening or someone dying. So that's that's my understanding of the of the meme. I just destroyed that slugma. Maybe, yeah, that's possible, Temperani. That it, people just completely lose track of what it was and then eventually like figure it out later. But um, the origin that video is so funny. It's such a som they directed the scene so somber in the game. And then it just kicks in with the level up music. <laughs> you paid respect to your friend. Level up, now you're better at combat. Uh, level 13? I mean, it's not good, but... It was like the... Oh yeah, no, no. It's not the f Yeah, no, it's uh, press F to pay respects. Back in my day, we used to say F. The, um... I was expecting maybe my, uh, uh, for the gaming channel, since there's a lot of Pokemon on it, I was like, maybe, maybe the age range of the viewership will actually skew a little younger on this. It skews even more towards 25 to 34 than my typical channel. Come on. What is this nonsense? Did I kill every fish in the sea?
Slugma, 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 slugma. I agree with you, Bangers. I agree with you. I think they're very cool designs. If I did Sword and Shield, I'd get some kiddos watching. I mean, I'm not, like, striving for it. Um, I was thinking about doing, like, trying to figure out something I could do for Sword Shield, but I can't really do a Nuzlocke for it without, like, restarting my game and losing everything, right? Gen 3 is your favorite in terms of design. I tend to agree with you. I like Gen 3 a lot. You know what I could do now that uh, Fineapple's a little stronger and we know Agrons are available in town? I could just go right here and fish here instead. Make a new profile on the Switch. Oh, true, I could do that. Put stuff in Pokemon Home, true. Gen 5 is your favorite? A lot of people like that one, right? What's up, Morning Zombie? Another Aggron to eliminate, real quick. Uh, what do you guys consider the cutoff point for millennials? People who identified as uh, 90s kids, but like, certainly not everyone in the generation went out of their way to identify as 90s kids. Um, so that's like a hard way to do it. Like, I was born in 92, and if someone was like, only 90s, I'd be like, shut up. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I've heard both people who grew up in the 90s and people born in the 90s. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just anybody who is alive in the 90s. You'd be like, only the 90s kids remember. Very close, PB&J, but Deffy takes it. That's a lot more experience. I'm glad I've done, done this. Also, giving uh, three uh, defense EVs to Ludicolo, which is very good for Ludicolo, because Ludicolo's defense, I believe, is the weak stat, right? Good at special defense, bad at regular defense. Gen 5 was the peak for art direction, you believe. Animated 2D sprites were great. Really missed 2D sprites. 2D sprites are cool, yeah. I think that 3D, what, there is an issue with 3D because it's like, you have to make decisions on a lot of stuff that you don't have to in 2D to keep it cool. Like we don't know how thick Agron is. And so your brain can go wild with it. You don't know how big he is, your brain can go wild with it. Um, you don't know how tall he is, your brain can go wild with it. But sometimes when I see like a Snorlax that's the same size as me in Pokemon Sword, I'm like, okay, wow, this is extreme, re extremely reliable training, and I can't believe I didn't think of it before now. This is like very quick levels, very safe levels for Fineapple, and great effort values. Three defensive effort values and only th three fights to level up. I get that I'm just training slowly, and it's not the best television, but uh, we keep catching new Pokemon, so... Right, Aggron is 6'11", right. Um, and I can train close to the Pokemon Center, that's true. Does he have the EXP share? I do not. Oh, Matang is in this town. I didn't realize that. Chat is the real entertainment. Don't worry, no one's here for you, Phil. That's true. That is true. Ice Ball, huh? How much is he gonna do? One? Okay, I'll lock on to make sure I hit this Hydro Pump real quick. Crit for six. Peace. That should get him. Being only seven feet reminds me of the tiny-ass Charizard in Sword Shield. Yeah, just like a tiny little guy. The real reason I tier 3 was to be king of the chat. <laughs> Pineapple duck monster wearing a DBZ style scouter scope for lock on. Exactly. Just the DBZ scopes are just Google Glass 2.0. 
Yep, that's exactly what I was doing once I realized that I could uh, fight in the town. Great minds think, so think alike. <laughs> get owned, get owned. Uh, most of the mons look, uh, with 3D in mind, look pretty good. True. Yeah, that's fair. That's a fair point. Yeah, I mean, it, that's how that's that's what it comes down to. Is like, I'm sure the design of many Pokemon was specific to the fact that they're uh, 2D. Level 16 is fine. Um, we could get uh, Ivy League, like a. Uh, couple EVs here, some defense EVs, I guess. Because Ivy League, we caught it, what, level 13 or something? Level 11? So it has not had as much, as many fights. Oh. Steel. Pure Steel Psychic, right? Um, Bone Club. That'll be special attack. I don't, I don't need to train Ivy League. We're gonna, we're gonna go out. Uh, what levels are Maze... Pokemon on this on this route, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Winter uh, Winter Melon. It, it it's a one to one swap on each route. Would you also get a random Pokemon instead of the Shijinja? Ah, uh, I would imagine. Yeah. I'm only gonna do this because I'm waiting to know what uh, Maze levels are. We'll end this stream with, I guess, either getting to the next town or May, depending on what levels are. We we were really behind when we were in this town. It's really what we're we're basically caught back up now that we've tra trained up our Pokemon. That's the problem with using the old rod for catches. Could so could someone look that up for me, please? Just because I, I don't want to be completely underleveled. I know Brawly was 16, 16, 19, which ended up being 17, 17, 20, because of the increase we gave it. Um, like 18 to 20. Okay. 18, 18, 20. So 19, 19, 20, or 22. 20, 21 or 22. All right. I can, I can afford not having one uh, magical leaf. Corvid 21 is going to go out front. I believe this is the same route as, yes, Route, route 110. So we're going to run into two very good grass types in the wild grass. Ah, oh boy. First, first square. Put all our EXP into Boombox. Just a, just a monstrous uh, explode carrying us straight through the game. Right, maze on this route. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I was prepping, Zoe. She like surprises you at this turn, right? <laughs> Another quick claw! Again! I I am in disbelief of how many quick claws we're getting. It's nuts. Let's get swag right up front. I think we're at four quick claws. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Oh yeah? What Pokemon you find in the grass around here? All right. All right. I will accept that you found uh, a pretty cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Okay, less cool now, but still cool. Still cool. Wild. Wild! Alright. Nice. Swag around to level 16. Got another four defense, dude. Dude is nuts with it. Absolutely sick with it. Absolutely busted. Dude is sick. Dude is crazy. Kikleon! Honestly, I agree. You found some pretty cool Pokemon in the grass. Um, I'm gonna use Bone Club first for you. Make you a ground type here real quick. Try attack. No stab bonus anymore, my friend. I've never gotten a single 
status effect. The first. Uh oh! As a friggin' mercenary. Dude, he was good? That was a good Pokemon. So I go ahead and go home now, real quick. That was spooky. I'm spooked. I'm thoroughly spooked. On this route, Wingle, Ivysaur, and Meganium. Nice, evenly dispersed route. Being cool is actually enough to win. My dude was just not cool. Get a little, uh, little experience there for my uh, friend Corvid21. Pronounced route, not root. One from Kanto, one from Johto, one from Hoenn. And all three of them, phenomenal Pokemon. Are you saying it's root, not route? You guys heard it as root? Craigate says it's route. Shahan, you're also on the route side? Lady Ux with me on root, not route. Oh, Corygate said it's root? Sorry, I misread that. PBJ says root. Uh it's pronounced rape. Yeah, we should do a poll. Shan, can you set up a poll, please? If it's pronounced root or route. Okay. Um, I don't know exactly where she starts the battle, but I'm okay starting with Corvid, if that is, if that's what uh, God's plan is. I think it's like right here, actually. I don't know, Will. I think, I think root might win. A wheezing has a lot of defense. Uh, do I have any psychic type move? I am a little worried about like a strong psychic attack uh, or, or strong poison attack from him. I think I might go to Swagron just because I'm immune to poison. Probably not. I mean, you know, anybody can have explosion, but moves are randomized. Curious to see whether Root or Route is going to win. Good switch, Phil. Thank you, Phil. I'm going to Metal Claw first to see how much damage I'm doing here. Just Poison Gas and Poison Powder? Let's see here. Oh, Root is winning. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Um, I should only say at the end what's winning. Because <laughs> that, that actually might provide information to people on how to vote. Yeah, probably so, Evan. That's funny. We've been... Uh, okay, there she is. Um, Corvid first? Ivy League first? Swagron first? I think maybe Swagron? No. We want Swagron as a switch in too. We want Corvid first. We wanna have we wanna have him available to switch to if need be. Oh, uh, you can't name May. Right? A corefish. Glad we did not do Swagron. Worst gen, worst gen. Uh, level 19. Uh, cross chop's 80% chance to hit. I think I think two gusts is gonna do it. One cross chop might not. So let's just go for let's go for gust. Yeah, Ivy League. Oh. Why is everybody critting me all of the time? Stop critting me. Be reasonable with me. 
That would have been lethal if I'd used Gus again. Even if I, if, even if he hadn't crit. Everyone's so critical of me, dude. Everyone's just critting me non-stop, dude. It's unacceptable. Corvid held a very special place in the team when we had a bad team, but uh, maybe not pulling so much weight lately. Leaf Blade animation is prime. Absolutely, Xerxes. Love the Leaf Blade animation. So is Magical Leaf, honestly. I love the, like, rainbow leaves on Magical Leaf. Okay, 38 HP. Just leveled up. Nice, nice even twos across the board, dude. Grimer! All right. Uh, doing well in this game. The only advice I give you is get le crit less. Hope this helps. I'll try. I'll do my best. A pain to use before they get uh, Honchcrow Evolution. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. They don't have Honchcrow Evolution in this one. Oh, it looks like Root and Route tied. That's so funny because that's the only outcome of the poll that uh, like makes any sense. And stomp him to death. Uh, thank God that final Pokemon was a Grimer, did. Nice and clean. Nice and clean that it was uh, Grimer. An item finder! Cheers, Doig. Uh, let's get, uh... I was saying Boo Earns. Oops. Didn't mean to cut down the grass. Which you can do in this game. Nice tip for the newbies out there. Yep. You can cut the grass using cut. So if you don't want to go somewhere, if you don't want to see the grass, you can simply cut it down. Played Emerald like 20 times and never knew that. But here at the Phil Jameson stream, we make sure that you learn something when you're watching. We're not just an entertainment stream, we're an edutainment stream. That's why we talk about six factorial and how to cut down grass in Pokemon Emerald. Really close to Mauville, yep. Just things bored six year olds would try, yep. I love these uh, testimonials. I learned that six factorial is 720. Uh, Corvid's going back up front because we're doing all uh, grass root, right? It doesn't change again the root, does it? Because if so, I think we killed... I don't know. You guys can tell me how you feel about that if the root changes here and I didn't know. It doesn't. Same root. Well, now that we've got the item finder, let's uh, use it. Nope, no response. I did do the left trainers already. Uh, getting some ice is what's happening in the kitchen right now. They're not uh, breaking things now. I know it sounds crazy, but it's just ice. Look at, look at that friggin' instinct there, dude. Oh. What's all this, then? Who needs an item finder when you have my friggin' massive brain? Uh, I gotta make sure I take care of that in a second. It's Rick Lax making videos in the background. Great callback. Oh! Okay.
That's why I'm so mad about it, because we're roommates. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully something exciting will happen this week. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go one step closer, and then I'm going to switch uh, Sandakin up front to try to get some experience for this fella. He's level 14, and he's falling behind rapidly. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I thought I thought they were going to fight, and it was, I was going to come up, and he was going to be like, uh, this guy's doing this thing. And I was going to have to go, no, he's not. And he's going to go, yes, he is. And I was going to have to go, here, I'll settle this by taking an item from you. All right, we'll go over to Ivysaur here. Sandstorm! Sandstorm from this Omastar. Classic technique. Not gonna work. Praise Helix. 319, Sandakin grew to level 15, baby. Did not learn a move. I thought level 15 was when uh, learned to move. Ah, Porygon 2, I see. Most likely normal moves. Typically, I'd be a little afraid of have him having psychic moves, but there's no reason this Porygon 2 would have psychic moves, really. It is just a normal type Pokemon, and therefore, Leaf Blade. I think it's one of the most ridiculous debates of all time, Zoe. I think it's a, an absurd note from, from the business, <laughs> and I think that's why it went viral. Man, not great stats for Ivy League, actually. Kind of disappointing there. Hm. Do kind of hate to see it. Okay, so we're going to put uh, Corvid up front simply as we walk over here. And then we're putting Sandshrew back up front. Just because I don't want to have Sandshrew up front have to switch out against uh, like Meganium or a, a Ivysaur, have them spore my team and have that headache happening over. Bum, 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 bum. Soul rock, it's soul rock time, yeah. Soul rock, a rock psychic. I cannot do much against a levitating rock psychic type, uh, but you know who can? Fine apple, folks. We're gonna get fine apple's first battle against a trainer, folks. Sink or swim time for fine apple. Guitarist having a rock type is very on brand and cool. It is pretty cool, actually. Even though guitarists are typically electric type, but they should have rock types as a little gag. They should really just have uh, Lolan Geodudes only. A Chin Chow. We're going for it, guys. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're all in on this friggin' solar beam. Easy! Boom, baby! Big solar beam from Fine Apple. Deuces. And a level up. Chin Chow is cute. I agree. I'm with you guys. You got the groove, all right. All right, back to Corvid for the root. I wish turning in place did not attract Pokemon. There's also Grand Bull. How many Pokemon are on this route? This is a ridiculous number. All right, it's lowered my attack. It has a high attack, and I have a horrible defense. So I actually have to switch. We're going over to Swagron. Aromatherapy. All right. Didn't quite have to do that. A soothing aroma wafted through the area. All right. I'm glad you got that, Granbull. Plusle and Manoon appear. Yes, that's right. Okay. A tornado warning? Dang. Four is it ridiculous. No, it's more than four. Wingle, Ivysaur, Meganium, Granbull, Weezing, uh... And I think there was another one too, right? I think it was six. Seven? Yeah. I'm telling you guys, it wasn't just. Yeah. A lot of Pokemon, did. 
I'm not crazy. You're crazy. All right. Item finder? I'm standing on top of it. Just kidding. Ah, stupid item finder. That's a big number for a freaking for a freaking room to have. Seven is more than four. All right, got rid of the Santru. Corbett's alive and well. Learning all sorts of math today. I don't know where that Pokemon item is. That Pokemon item, yep. I am a smart person. All right. Oh, you fell off the route? All right. Damn. Growlithe. Ah, my attack got lowered. I don't think I can take the Growlithe if my attack is lowered. Um, let's just go to Boombox, honestly. Don't battle us. Call an ambulance. You just fell off on your bike. Bike in surprisingly good shape. Just perfect. Perfect condition. Go ahead and try attack you. More like succeed attacked, am I right? I love, I love how these trainers who couldn't possibly know each other, if you just happen to walk in between them, uh, they just battle you both. <laughs> this one fell off the route. And for whatever reason, these two battle you as though they're like great friends. Mudkip! My beloved. All right. Come on. Come on. Don't be like that. Peace, Mudkip. Some Fs in the chat for that Mudkip. Uh, if the Pokemon trainers battle everyone, they see why don't they battle each other. Yeah, they're just staring directly at each other. Sandikin got two attack and two defense there. Isn't it frowned upon to stand in the grass stock still? You gotta tell me. Pokemon World is kind of cool, apparently. A Poké Doll! That could feasibly be useful for us against like a Wobbuffet. I have to remember that I have that. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. I'm just gonna do this. I know I'm like very close to the Pokemon Center, but I'm just gonna play it safe, guys. A metal coat! A metal coat! It's not as good. Oh, wait, no, that's not even the. Is it? It's just the evolution item, right? Oh, no, okay, so it's, it's both. It raises the power of steel moves and it would evolve an Onyx if you traded with it. I didn't realize that. A wheezing. Or Scyther, that's right. A wheezing, guys. You guys like when I battle wheezings? Am I the only person streaming Pokemon Emerald right now, by the way? You don't like the sprite? I love this sprite. It's gross, but I like it. Ah, whoops. Number one, Pokemon Emerald streamer, baby. It's me. Easy, dude. Easy. I knew it. Easy peasy. I knew I was number one. I can literally make that claim to fame with science on my side. Okay. 
what are these? These are like a weird berry, right? Thank you, Pentagram. It actually wasn't mine. Who, who in chat uh, pitched that name? Who pitched Corvid 21? I love the name. This, this guy. The two roads, one above, one below. A road each for people and Pokemon. Perhaps that is right and fair. Okay, cool, dude. I don't give a shit. All right, let's head on in here. Heal up. If Corvid21 is such a good name, where's Corvid21 too? Oh, this guy on the like left is like he change changes like every game, right? Or he's like he's like storyteller. Oh man, you started trends one time. Oh my god, that's magnificent. Trader started new trends one times. Setting trends for all the Hoenn regions. Gets me thinking, could there be other trainers of more impressing legends awaiting discovery? Legendary, dude. I started a trend. This guy's like, you got 200 retweets? I'm going to tell everyone about you. Escape rope. More like escape nope. I don't use those things. What's this guy? Yeah, dude, it would be great. Okay. Uh, let's get Sandikin another level. Don't sneak up behind me like that. The only way you could approach him at this point in the game. <laughs> Wait, 12? Why is this guy level 12? Google the polka doll. I can get it on eBay for $120. So if everybody can pitch in $5, that'd be great. Oh, Rain Dance. We should switch to uh, Ludicolo when we can. So he gets health back every turn. This dude's trying to set up a sweeper. Yeah, amigo, we ended up with some good stuff. We fished an Agron out of the sea in Slateport. Uh, caught this uh, Ivysaur just north of Slateport. Um, got a Doduo here. All right, all right, all right. Caught a Ludicolo. Is this the Magikarp guy? Uh, maybe. That could be what it is. That might be why I only level 11 and 12 or whatever. Doduo with Metal Claw. Was not, was not expecting to see that move come through the pipes there. Um, let's just do a Rock Throw. I'll hit it. Bum, 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 bum. Sometimes a family is a girl, a guy, and a $400 four-foot tall marine. Uh, this is a grass dark type, right? Um, so... That'll be a Corvid 21 swap if I've ever seen one. Why not? Why not say it like that? I like to say it like that. It's fun. Missing the days of all bug catcher. You knew it had to end sometime, did. <laughs> it's Doduo, not Doduo. Swagron is trying to learn Steel Wing. 7090 or 5095. This is the same question we had before with a different move. I think I gotta go Steel Wing. It's 5% less, but it's just like, is it guaranteed or is it not guaranteed? I gotta go Steel Wing here. Um, so I'm gonna take Steel Wing over Metal Claw. The only other option is I take it over Rock Throw, which actually, uh, no, cause I need, I need the PP for Rock. I need the PP for Rock and I want Stomp for the coverage. So I'm gonna take uh, Metal Claw. Steel 
doing. Done. It's over. It's done. Yeah, one more Pokemon. This could have been the... Uh... Oh, that's Arena Trap right there. Level 15. Um... I'm going to Super Fang it first because I know that... Apparently, I don't know anything. I'm going to Super Fang it first. Cause... Oh, can't use the same move twice in a row because of Torment. Oh, Torment comes through huge. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because I won it KO. Arena Trap doesn't affect flying, if you remember correctly. All right. Well, I didn't need to do it. Didn't need to do it. But it's okay. We came through, baby. We killed him. Fishing is all about concentration. You have to focus on the floater, okay? Hi, do you check out TV? They put you on TV without telling you? Sounds illegal. I don't... Okay. Yeah, great. Oh, if you give her a harbor mail, does something happen? I would assume that's the case. Woohoo, I hear people call me the Rock Smash guy. I feel like I maybe deserve a bit more respect. Like, maybe the Rock Smash dude. Woohoo. Anyways, your Pokemon look pretty, pretty strong. Yeah, I take that. Here, take them. Hit me. Yeah. All right. No, I think the items that people give you are, are fine. We are the Pokemon Fan Club. We're on the air. On this program, I get your opinions. I shout them out in your bath. Isn't it a fantastic program concept? Thank you for bringing this report from our reporter. We sent out to the Pokemon Fan Club. So just, who is today's featured Pokemon fan? Phil Jr., what? Let's hear what Phil Jr. has to say about Ligma Jr., the Slugma. And I will shout those words of love out loud on the TV. Hoo-ha! Let's shout. We asked Phil Jr., when you first laid eyes on your Slugma, what was your initial thought? Boring! Yeehaw, that's a mighty fine shout. Doesn't it bring back memories of those days long gone by? Hmm? Oh, there's still more. Let's check it out. Let me see now. We asked Phil, what do Pokemon mean to you? Battle! Bravo! That's the best shout I've had all day. Battle! It makes you two want to shout it out loud again and again. Now that we've had a great shout, it's time to say goodbye. Until next time. All together now. Battle! <laughs> Pokemon are tools for battling. All right, let's go to the Pokemon Center here. Thank you. Thank you for doing the shout, Temperani. I appreciate that. Yeah, Game Boy's rolled it. All right, let's get a bike. Hell yeah, Wintermelon. Have we here? Energetic, Rydell. All this way from Little Root? That's ridiculous so far. If you had one of my bikes, you could go easily with, uh, while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. Okay. I'll give you a bike. Oh, wait a second. I gotta tell you, there's two kinds of bikes. Mach and Acro. Uh, I want to do Acro, because Mach is annoying. It's too fast. It's too fast. It's simply too fast. Although I do remember uh, hatching eggs on this, on this route west of here by getting the Mach bike and learning the path really well. We've got the bike, baby. Huge moment for us. Couple trainers here. Guy shot must be doing well if he's gifting bikes to a random kid coming in. You're right. I guess uh, Swagron and Sandikin is maybe not the best, but whatever, dude. We're going for it. Oh, do a trick. I'll do a trick right after this. Wow, they got a oh. <sighs> I guess we go to Boombox here. And then we do Ancient Pow wait. <laughs> First of all, I say it yes, so you have to get used to that. However, Flashbacks to not knowing uh, Lacius's type. Is it dragon flying? I believe psychic dragon.
Ancient power it is. It used pound, dude. Could have been bad, could have been bad. Oh! What is this combo? I don't care, I can't care about that. I still have to go for the, for the Latius, Latius, Latios. Actually, a pro straight. Yeah, yeah. Use magnitude and like earthquake with levitate or fly. Nuts. <laughs> Thank God this is about to happen. This this trainer rules. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Just a freaking Latius, Charizard, and Latios. That's how I'm saying it. Try attack Latios. Uh I think I I think I just heal Swagron. I, I don't think I can risk like a like a decent ground attack here. do a potion. Two HP is not going to be the difference. And if it is, then I won't ever know. All three dodge magnitude, yeah. Okay. That trainer's done. Insane trainer. Absolutely nuts. And now we could deal with this earth, <laughs> earth shattering Azuril. It's normal water, right? Just looking cute as gods sit next to her. Go for the stop. 34 experience. Excellent. Oh, just normal? Wow, I didn't know that. Stomp the Sunflora. I'll be able to try attack it before it goes. And then we'll just steel wing whoever's afterwards. Oh, Swagron got the quick claw. That stinks, because he's probably not going to get this kill. Oh, he got the kill. Excellent. Good job, Swagron. Huge attack and defense. I love this guy. And Whooper. Deuces, Whooper. Do not deserve to fight with oh, this trainer at your side. A super good and a super cute trainer. I seem to have lost. Pokemon 1, 2, and 3. That odor, it's a Pokenav. This is me celebrating not losing anybody to two Latiuses and a Latios. Uh, here's the roster here, Mumpor. Uh, we got a Sandikin. A Swagron, an Ivy League, a Fine Apple, a Corvid 21, and a Boombox. Sorry, yeah. A Latios, a Latios, and a Charizard. Did I say two Latioses and... Yeah, I bet. Uh, it was uh, it was an Ivysaur on the next route. Is Phil even watching the TV? Uh, all right, we can catch on this route. We also are still trying to train this sand slash a little bit. Or sand shrew to a sand slash, rather. Pure luck, absolutely pure luck. Yeah, actually, pure bad luck on on the catch itself. All right, let's double our money real quick. Dude plays bass. Watch out. It all comes full circle, folks. At least the evolutions aren't randomized, yes. 
I don't like randomized evolutions because then it's like you don't want to evolve your Pokemon unless it's unless it's bad. I mean, I, I get it, but like, I don't know. Wow, the second month of subscriptions. Ain't that just the pizziest pie you've ever seen? Hey, welcome back, Edie Newman. Thank you for the Prime sub. Month two. Good to have you. Super Fang. Alright. Bad move, War Turtle. I was trying to give you a chance. Bum, 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 bum. It actually, the, the notification kind of scared me because it was a little loud. I didn't realize I hit that first chord in the song that I wrote so hard. Uh, fake Tears? Uh, is there any move that's worse than Fake Tears? No. I love War Turtle. He's cute. Guitarist Dalton. La 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 la. Dude's a guitarist. When I compose better melodies, you better listen. Dude loves to write a melody. He's all about writing melodies, dude. Sorry, I'll just make this fight. It's the worst that could happen. Sea King! Should be able to handle Sea King. And we're gonna handle Sea King with Fine Apple. Sea King is a cool design and just like not a good Pokemon. Ready, Sea King? Sea King is way better than Goldeen, design wise. I agree. Sea King, more like finding. He's right here. Mudshot! Hey! Alright, Sandakin. I see you over there with your mud shot. Getting a decent move. I was beaten in heart. Knew it. Bright powder. Bright powder's fun. It's the one that makes people miss, right? Give it a fine apple because he doesn't have anything right now. Never lost a Poke Battle while playing Pokemon Heart. Well, nor Pokemon Brain. The question is, like, what am I. Because there's a gym here, I believe. But, like, it seems like there's all kinds of trainers you're supposed to battle before this. Oh, okay. Wally's here. Ooh, you're supposed to battle Wally, huh? Really, really surprised. Now, uh, Sanshu could feasibly actually fight. as we clear out this uh, route here. Senior and Junior, Junior, Anna and Meg, Blaziken and Kecleon. Okay. Um, does, does Water Spout hit everybody or just both enemies? Can someone tell me that? I would like to know. Uh, I don't know if you can use the move to check. Both enemies, surf is everyone. Okay, so we're committing to that, we're sure. Both enemies, it highlights who it hits when you hi-, hi Does it? I didn't realize that, okay. I'm gonna poison Fang because if the water hits first. It does not. Uh, 
Uh, so you're sure? You're positive? Because I've, I've gotten incorrect information and now I'm nervous. All right, I'm trusting chat. It does not uh, hit Sandshrew. I'm trusting chat about that. Good. Ooh, Blaziken didn't die, though. Blaziken. Okay. All right. So, Fine Apple must be faster. Because otherwise, Fine Apple would not have uh, gone. It, no Quick Claw. So, we're okay to. Uh, I guess we Poison Fang again. It's not going to be as strong because we're not as high, but we do need to kill the Blaziken. Oh, Detect! I was not expecting a Detect, dude. It will also destroy stalagmites found in the background of battles. What the heck? Oh, it blocks the whole move? That stunk. Could have been worse than it was. All right, can't do it twice. Very scary. Why did he go twice? In, why did he go in front? Let's have the exact same speed. Oh, dodge, thanks to double team by coincidence. I'm actually very worried right now for Fine Apple. I'm very worried for Fine Apple currently. Get some defense, please. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Got the crit. Good job, Sandikin. Um, that, uh... Scared me. Spooked me, dude. I played a little loose against that Blaziken, who is a very good Pokemon. One of the best. One of the best Pokemon. Pear berries. You consider different levels of caves? No. It is the same. Oh, you. Sorry, I missed it, dude. Sorry. Ah, shit. Triple battles? Triple battles sounds stupid. Uh, two hands, we have not caught on this route yet. But this is our team currently. Uh, nice battle. Nice battle. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever. Let's battle. Is that why you're running back and forth? This guy is also one of the ones that uh, is renewably battleable. Weird way to say that, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, we do have a catch there. I don't know if I want to use it, though, because we have a pretty good team, and it'll be like level 5, and it's going to slow us way down. Glad I switched. I was thinking about maybe using Poison Fang, but I was like, eh, if he has a good move, then it won't be good. And, uh, good choice. <laughs> oh, mushrooms aren't plants. Technically, it's grass type, which is like, you know, it's kind of like, it's similar to grass. My point doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Will he still be in the triathlon later? No, he just stands still after this. Pokemon have to be strong too? Buddy, like what what are you doing? What is your what is your strat here? Listen, could I get you to battle the Pokemon I'm raising? How far off is the new rod? I don't know actually, Duffy. Right, this guy's got six. Forgot about this guy. This is a bug poison type, I believe. Although it might be bug psychic, in which case this isn't going to do very much. Nice. Casually raising a Mewtwo, you're sure? Alright, let's see. Slow King! 
Uh, what's our special defense? 17. On, at level 18. We have to switch against the level 12 Slowking. Because if he has Surf, if he has Hydro Pump, if he's got... Is that a Deoxys move? Route 118 is the good rod. The Slow King busting out a cosmic power, dude. This Ivysaur is sick, dude. I mean, we cut Magical Leaf instead of Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade is great. Um, Spore is just too useful. Dude, we're dropping Magical Leaf for, for uh, Meteor Mash. Good lord! You went to a good school. League said, you got me mad now. You made me mad, dude. I'm sweeping now, said Ivy League. Some dang Ivy Sore cutting, dude. Cutting up that Igly buff. Deserve it. Clefable. Yeah, Igly Buff is like, they tried to make it cute and it just stinks. Igly Buff is a failure. Pokemon Company missed the friggin' boat on that one. Uh, Sandakin evolves on level 22, I believe? Oh, I'm sorry, Pentagram Spawn. Thank you. Thank you. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, he's great to train on, I remember, because he's got a bunch of... a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, let's, uh, let's start with Corvid for the catch, and then switch over to Ivy League for the sleep. Alright, the only Pokemon we can catch on this route... is... A Scissor! Woo! Woo! All right, dude. We're going back to the roots, dude. We're going back to being a bug catcher. All right. Super Fang. We're going to be a bug catcher again. Um, he has a Twin Needle, which is not amazing for Ivysaur, but Ivysaur is also poison. So Ivysaur can... Uh, do fine against that. It'll just be neutrally effective instead of not very effective. Uh, Leech Life, I'm not too worried about that. It is a little annoying, but uh, we could spore him here. And we do have the Metal Coat for uh, lore purposes. Um, he's he's um, Steel Bug... Twenty-two Pokeballs. Uh, I'm trying to think of what would be like a way to hurt him without killing him other than Corvid, which is a little risky right now. Um, it could be like. No, that's all going to be too strong. All right, let's let's try to let's try to Pokeball in here. See see what happens. You never know. You might just catch him. See, sometimes you just gotta go for it. All right. 
A scissor has a body with the hardness of steel. It is not easily phased by ordinary sorts of attacks. It flaps its wings to regulate its body temperature. One of these sentences is different than the rest of the sentences. I changed up the song so it wasn't uh, copyright. Welcome back, Mooster. Folks, what is the nickname? Scissorin? Name it Lore? You're a scissor, Harry. Clamps, snippy. Scissors? Sickzor? Papor? Edward? Edward? Couple Edwards. Wrench? Clamps, couple clamps, several clamps. Clamps and I believe Edward are leaving, leading right now. Clamps and Edward are kind of neck and neck right now. Clamps or Edward? Clamps, leading. Ed Clamps, which I'm counting as a vote for neither, but Clamps is taking the lead. Clamps is gonna win. Oh, couple Edwards. Oh, Edward is coming back though. Oh, what's it gonna be? Are we gonna have to do an actual poll? I, I, Shan, it's good. It's good. People don't feel strongly either way, it seems like. It seems like there's like one vote. All right, now you can send the same message as many times as you want, just get in there. Edward or Clamps, let's see who's more passionate. Edward is leading right now. Edward's leading. Edward's, oh, Clamps is coming back and maybe winning. Clamps is coming back. It's close. Okay, we have to do one minute poll. One minute poll. I have to do one minute poll. The poll is live. Get your vote in. Top of the chat, folks. Top of the chat. Get that vote in. Get that vote in. Ed clamps if, lo if tie. Sure. Ed clamps if tie. Oh my god, Edwards is so obvious. Wait, Ed Clamps is great. Then try to make it tie then. If you like Ed Clamps. Ooh, is it going to maybe tie? It's tied right now. If nobody votes, it'll be Ed Clamps. But if you do vote, it's like the prisoner's dilemma. <laughs> yeah, we, we follow Senate rules here. And the poll is a tie. It's Ed Clamps. The winning, the winner is Ed Clamps. The come from behind victory. <laughs> oh, he's in the nice zone. That's unacceptable. I don't care how good his name is. <laughs> Dude's name is Ed Clamps. This is why comedy writers rooms aren't crowdfunded. <laughs> Ed Clamps, did. Uh, who are we getting rid of? Is it uh, Sandshrew? We gotta get rid of Sandshrew, right? I mean, so here's the thing. We're not getting, like... It's either Sandikin or uh, uh, Corvid 21. And I think it's gotta be... Oh yeah, check moves. Make sure the moves are, like, at least passable. Uh, Silver Wind is good, um, and Swift is a, a playable move. He'll learn something else as well, and we can try to remember something. So that's that's the coverage that we actually don't have right now. Um, Sandikin does evolve at 22, yes, but Scissor already is evolved and has 47 attack. Uh, 47, 31, 23, 27, 25... 
36, 36, 18, 17, 23. So I think every stat is worse. And uh, yeah, I think I think we got to get rid of Sandikin. Sandikin did good work, and it's a great backup in case in case stuff goes south. Uh, you think that you think that Sandikin is cooler? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe cuter, but can't make decisions based on cuteness. Scissor is pretty cool. Scissor's a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, so we can give. Let's just give Scissor the Quick Claw for now. A little bit of a slow Pokemon. Might be nice to have. All right. I think I know what we have to do to end the stream here today. And what we have to do is fight Wally. We're going to try to train Ed Clamps on Wally. Good luck to us, folks. We're going in. We could beat anyone if I combine forces with Ralts. Do you have a battle with me? Wally at least asks. Wally's a little bit more polite than May is. Check him out. It's Wally. Alakazam! Alright. Let's get him. Oh, okay. Yep, no, we got him. We got him. Easy. Done. Done, dude. Straight through. Killed the Alakazam in one shot. Ed Clamp's first battle. One, one Clamp. Ed Clamp's instantly becoming a fan favorite. Three attack, two speed. You'll love to see it. Ed Clamp's straight to the top. Are those two small arms on his back? Uncle, I'll go back to Verdant Turf. Phil Jr., thank you. Being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to have Pokemon make the battle. That isn't what being a real trainer is about. Well, there's no need to be so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger and stronger? This sounds like a Jimmy Stewart monologue here. Come on, let's go home. Everybody's waiting for you. Ooh, really messed that word up. Phil Jr., just dawned on me that you must be the trainer who kept an eye out for Wally when he caught his Pokemon. Why don't you visit us in Verdant Turf sometime? I'm sure Wally would enjoy it. I wasn't doing a very good Jimmy Stewart. I was doing my best, but it wasn't very good. Dude, Scott, you gotta leave me alone, dude. You are a creep, man. You can't keep saying you are watching children. You're gonna get... This guy's got some serious problems, and there's a law, there's a law man looking for you. Ah, oh boy. I idolize trainers like that. I'll be cheering for you. Okay, Scott. Goodbye. No wonder his sunglasses are so big. He's a wanted man. Folks! Thank you so much for joining. I really do appreciate it. Hope to catch you next time while I play a Pokemon Emerald, and now that I have a usable team. Let's just take a quick look at who we got for anybody who missed stuff. Ed Clamps, Fine Apple, Ivy League, Swagron, Boombox, and Corvid21. Pretty excellent team, honestly. Um, a little bit of doubling type coverage here with the grass and the steel, um, but I'm not too mad about it, actually. I like what we've got. I like what we've got. Um, I appreciate you coming by. Let's go find somebody to raid.